everybody, my name is Markiplier, and it's time for another episode of Five Nights at Freddy's. Today we're going to be on a Japanese train. How's everybody doing today? I hope you're doing well. Me personally, I'm doing alright. It's been a long day. My Wednesdays are always long. They're rough. They're rough. And I have a cold call tomorrow. That I guess it's not wrong. a cold call. It's more like a hot call. Hot call. Hot call. Because I know about it. Uh, but, um, it means that I'm gonna be up late, really late tonight, studying. How's everybody doing today? I hope well. Ugh. My head's a little hurty. I feel like I didn't get enough sleep last night, but I did. I definitely did. I went to sleep at a reasonable hour, and I woke up later than I would have hoped. Ugh. Some days my body just likes to be like, no, sorry, your sleep didn't take. And I know that's a problem with... Uh, I have sleep apnea. It's mild, but it does mean that some nights it's just like, no, what you just did was a big waste of time. And some nights in like two hours, it's like, you're done. Great job. How has the apnea been lately? Not great. Not fantastic. Um, ugh, I still haven't mastered going to sleep with the mask on. It's hard. Use your CPAP fucker. Yeah, I should. I should use it more. The problem is, a lot of people, I, I know they're like, oh, well, after a week of sleeping with the CPAP, you're, you're really good at it. I'm not. I, I've, I've been using it for six months, and I still can't really consistently fall asleep with it on. That's what the point of the mask is. That's true. It's literally true. Sleep apnea, more like sleeping on Applebee's. God, I got so much shit for that Applebee's take. For being so goddamn right. I couldn't get the CPAP and just got the surgery. Have you considered that? No, I'm not going to get the surgery. I'm pretty happy with being a man, right? No, I, uh, I don't know why. I, I if they're, I don't know if they're like astroturfing or what. I don't really understand what's going on. But everyone this week has decided to talk about chilies. I just want to, real quick, get out in front of everything and say ch uh, that uh, Applebee's is garbage. Um, a lot of people are saying. Joseph, you don't understand the plight of the poor man in America. And unfortunately for you fucks, I do. And uh, Applebee's is an expensive restaurant. Despite the fact that the food is dog shit, it is also expensive. A lot of people are saying, Joseph, what about the half apps? The half apps are so good. I'm sorry. Half apps, not good. Are you ready? I'm going to reveal to you that none of you know anything about Applebee's. You all are going to shit your doo-doo ass. They don't have half apps all the time. Half ta half apps are seasonal. That's crazy, right? And the half apps that they do have at some times are a a truncated menu. And you yeah, can get like a half app of like the pretzel bread. Oh my god, the pretzel bread is $7 instead of $14. Paying for breadsticks. When there exists another restaurant in which the breadsticks are free. I'm talking about Olive Garden. <laughs> you couldn't pay me to go to Olive Garden? CJ, this is how I know I'm right, is that I am disagreeing with you. Any scenario where we find each other on the same end of the aisle, I know I immediately have to change my opinion. Now, the one thing that I think Applebee's does have going for it that a lot of people have pointed out is it's very easy to get drunk there. That the Dollarita exists. Uh, some nights, if you walk in, they go, Oh, aren't you a little hog? You'll just eat anything, won't you? Open up, piggy! And then they just throw, like, some sort of alcohol in your mouth. Um... Uh, but to that I say, please don't, don't go to Applebee's to get drunk. Just get drunk at home. Or get drunk anywhere. Like, what's the purpose of getting drunk? Is it to forget? Then you can drink at home. Is it to have a good time with your friends? Surely you can do that at a place that isn't adjacent to a grandma's 90th birthday party. I can't drink on campus. What the fuck kind of college campus can you not drink on? What the fuck, Christian? Oh. I will say I've been to a number of dry campuses and they were 
especially wet, is what I'll say. Liberty University. <laughs> hey, do you all remember, like, that weird period in, like, the late 2000s, like, 2007, 8, 9, where there were a bunch of just, like, unaccredited universities that, like, were, like, and it was, like, anti-woke in the time of Obama? Like, uh, do you all remember Bob Jones Academy? Were there still are? Oh, are there, is there, like, a whole new suite of them? Oh, man. Those places were sick. It might just be my uh, my, my upbringing, though. I knew, like, parents who would send their kids there because they were like, I don't want them going to school and becoming a lib. You see YouTube ads for them all the time? Oh, if they're buying YouTube ads, actually, I stand behind them wholeheartedly. Oh, my God, I'm so sorry. I didn't realize that there was money to be made off these. If I found out my nurse went to Liberty, I'm getting a different nurse. Liberty, 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 Liberty. I thought it was an, in, uh, a, 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 like an insurance company, not a university. When do you think PragerU opens up the Prager University? What are they going to teach? Ben Shapiro is going to teach beating the allegations 101. Okay, a lot of people are going to insinuate you want to have sex with your sister. Regardless of the truth, here's that how you can beat mom. back that argument. Firstly, point out the logical fallacies. They're just taking over regular universities. Yeah, I mean, that's that's probably the case. Wait, PragerU doesn't actually exist? Oh, yeah. If you're not an American, you might know this. Prager University is just a YouTube channel. They just added university to the YouTube channel. It's not like a real school. You can't go there. There's no building. It's just a U the name of a YouTube channel. Yeah, it's like Tularian Community College. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Are they going to teach the Ohio Rizzlers versus the Baltimore Chugalugans? You know, I would go to school if they were doing that. And my teacher had Kai Sanat Riz and came in with a W guy at. Bussy University when? Good question. Ugh. Oh. Man, Chugalugans. Oh, people have been doing discourse about him all week. Nah. <laughs> no, it's a, it's an old video that we used to watch on stream. Um, my college hired a congressman that tried turning over the election as our new president. Well, if you want to impeach him, you know, he he already has it planned out. Ugh. Ugh. I thought Bussy U was where the TMTs were. Yeah, they were. Anyway, it's been a um it's been a cool couple of days. I love showing up on Wednesday because like all the stuff that's developed over the week is now in the developing stages. When we come in on Monday, a significant amount of the nonsense uh, that populates the uh both the Yugi sphere and the general world is just getting started. But by Wednesday it's it's fully cemented what's going to be a problem this week. Oh, don't worry, CJ. We're going to get to it. But, um... Ugh. Some days I wake up and I'm like, w oh, I get, a, I get a whiff of today's discourse and I go, no, I can't do that one. That one I can't do. The PAL world stuff, for instance, I've almost completely you know, removed myself from. It's like not something I can even, we're gonna talk about it a little today, but it's just like, oh my God. What, what else were people talking about this week? Oh, the Chugga stuff? The Chugga stuff was amazing. Every person who's ever met this guy is like, yeah, he's an irredeemable sex pest. It's like, oh, <laughs> awesome. Oh, cool. And everyone just did content with him for years. Awesome. Really cool. Um, do 
Do we talk about the Hasbin Hotel 50k vid? Yeah. I would pay 100k. I would pay 100k for that vid. The crazy thing about the Hasbin Hotel 50k vid is that there's another one. Isn't that crazy, by the way? There's a second Verbal Ace video that we're just never going to get to see. I hope that's the one where we get to see insertion. Lost Media Hunt. I'm, I'm going to do like the Nicolas Cage Presidential Book of Secrets about... Uh, <laughs> about the second uh, unreleased Hasbin Hotel sex video. I'm going to steal Verbal Ace's YouTube password. <laughs> it belongs in a museum. Where is it? Well, so he had uploaded two of them to an unlisted YouTube page, and someone found one of them, but the other one, you know, never found any took down. I wouldn't uh, pay so much to never hear, hear about Hasbin Hotel again. The discourse is exhausting. It's so crazy. It's like the first show since... I'm trying to think of something even remotely comparable. I guess the Voltron show was like this. The first one of these shows that is almost exclusively discourse. Like, I never see anyone talking about the show at all. Steven Universe. No, Steven Universe still had fans. You know, there were still people who that were like, isn't it crazy what happened on Steven Universe? This one just talks around the show. RWBY. That might be correct, but I'm not super familiar with it. So how would I know? I think, um... I think it's wild. I, I will say, I, I've said this on a number of channels, but I watched the episode that was up on uh, on YouTube, and I was like, oh, they fixed all the problems I had. The first time they did uh, Has Been Hotel, I was like, oh my god, it's so youtube -y in the worst ways possible. Like, the pacing was all off, the writing was really subpar, uh, stuff was just happening. It had, like, the Johnny Test whip crack kind of thing, where YouTube animators get in their head that, like, Everyone has to be doing something at every minute, and it's just exhausting to look at. And the actual release is like, oh my god, they tuned up everything. I imagine they hired people who, like, knew what they were doing. It was nice. Talked about dicks a lot, yeah. I did see a lot of people posting the, like, the dick discussion with that one character, and I was like, isn't the whole point of this character is that he says dick a lot, right? That's the joke. Everyone was like, look how much they say dick. It's like, yeah, that's, uh, I get it. I don't think I'm going to watch the rest of them, you know. It seems like it's a show for, like, 17-year-olds who hang out at the mall. But I will say it's a, it's impressive. Um, that, uh, Smiling Friends, you know, even Rick and Morty to a degree, that these, like, YouTube animators are now actually, you know, industry animators. And, you know, uh, we'll see what direction it goes in. Will they... W will they blossom into a beautiful and interesting animation ecosystem like Smiling Friends did? Or will they use their power to run an RC car around the office and <laughs> sext everyone that they've ever met uh, like uh, the Rick and Morty guys did? You know, who knows? Maltines have gone extinct. Habitat destroyed. You know... I think that they have introduced some, like, uh, you know how they introduced the gray wolves back into Yellowstone? I think they've introduced some uh, apex species back into malls. Uh, Jillian and I went to the mall a couple of months ago. We were like, oh, let's be mall rats for a day. We went to the mall. It was packed. It's a, a bunch of people there. And more important than anything else, 14-year-old goths, a non-zero number of them. I was like, well, buckle my biscuits. Mall goths to this day cute were they industry plants you know were they were they you know bred in a lab to fulfill a specific niche for the ecosystem potentially but i'll take it malls still have hot topics no they were like chilling outside like a what's it called a cheesecake factory that's another restaurant i will go to bat for hating cheesecake factory that one's really expensive, too. You got kicked out of Danny's chat at the right time. You dodged the worst meme review ever. Man, I just... 
that meme review, the, the last meme review is the first one where I was like, I actually think we're out of content. I think that, that we have wrung all of the blood from this stone, that there is nothing we can say about this that is even remotely interesting. You can't even threaten to kill them in interesting ways. It was all, Farfa, laugh at my joke, and the same stupid fucking SpongeBob shit that it always is. I mean, the meme review is never good, but it's become bad in such a boring way. When it's like Yugi Boomer complaining about something that's just out of left field, that's fun to me at least. You can see the you can see the vision behind it. It's just that they're living on an alternate plane of existence. When it's just people posting, "Oh, you know what makes Farfa laugh? Another language." Hoo 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 hoo. It just doesn't do it for me. <laughs> Not to shill the podcast, folks. Have you have you heard of Will of the Council? I need to put a uh, a command in my chat. Exclamation mark Watsy W O T C for the link to Will of the Council. There's not a there's not a command, but um, the Patreon episode for this month is uh, is with Nadir, and um, he <laughs> we talk very shortly about like meme review, and he's like, I just I don't know what to say, man. Like, I uh, I do what I can, but they keep getting upvoted. I tell people stop submitting them. They keep getting upvoted by the dog shit you know viewer base of r slash Master Duel. Was it getting its own Patreon? Yeah, it has its own Patreon. Yeah. We actually just recorded an episode of Will that I think is going to go really good. It's crazy. As the episodes have continued, every episode I, I get out of recording and I go, that was the best one we've done. I think the first one is actually pretty weak. It's like sort of tepid. But by the third one, I think we've really hit a, uh, a rhythm that I, I appreciate. Unfortunately, I think our best one is the Farfa one. Farfa, by the way, this is going to shock you. He is like... A really empathetic, intelligent guy. Like, emotionally intelligent. And if you want to hear that... You know, you can go to... Uh, the Will of the Council Patreon. <laughs> My preconception was wrong. He's like a history major. He's some sort of humanities major. I think it is history. Is it on Apple yet? No, but maybe you all can help me with this. When I go to Apple Podcasts, it brings me to the landing and it says, create an account. And I click create your podcast account. And I type in my information, and then I click create, and then it redirects me to the landing page. In fact, every link on the website redirects me to the landing page. This happens across every single browser that I use. So I called up Apple, and I call them, and they go, oh, this is Apple support. You want Apple Podcast Connect support? And I go, well, I can't get to them because when I click the contact us on the Apple Podcast Connect support, it takes me to the landing page. And they go, okay, let me put you on a brief hold and then transfer you over. And then literally five times when they go to transfer me over, they just hang up. The, the most recent one was the funniest. This person was like, had clearly muted themselves. And they were like, hello, can you hear me? Can you hear me? And I was like, yes. And they were like, I can't hear you. And nothing had changed. And I was like, your ass is sitting on a button or something. And so they requested to be able to use Apple Screen Connect. And then they hop into my notes and just type out. They're like, can you hear me? And I'm like, yes. It was this fucking, I swear to God. They are baiting you? I think they are baiting me. I think they're like, we don't want to fucking resolve this. Go. They don't They don't want the truth out there. They stole all your info? What are they, what are they going to do with my info? Never give someone remote access to your computer? You can say that, but, you know, sometimes tech support does just take control of your shit. Pegasus is not happening today. We have to talk a little bit about... Uh, Pegasus, I guess I would say. Um, so, we're not ending Pegasus, but we are changing how it works. 
So, uh, what we're going to do is... Instead of rolling a wheel at the beginning with, like, prompts, we're going to just play, a like, a bad deck, like an Edison deck or a Tengu plant deck or whatever. Just, like, a slow plotting deck. And we're going to roll a wheel in between turns, which is going to have, like, end the, like, this turn, 30 seconds on the clock. You know, this turn, you can't attack or switch all your monsters to defense position or, you know, something like that. More like what a Pegasus challenge would be. And we're going to film that on Danny's channel on Friday. Uh... You mean sub replay Friday? Yeah, we're gonna do it either before or after sub replay Friday. I can't remember. I feel like that might disrupt the flow of the game. Yeah. Yeah, that's 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 correct. <laughs> I think that I think it probably will. You guys are like, not sub replay Friday. <laughs> the whole point of Pegasus Challenge is that it sucks, like playoffs. Man, we are just sitting on the first episode of playoffs forever. Release it? We will. The problem is we want to release it, and then we want to give it some breathing room, and then the next month we want to release the next one, which will be Agov. Then the next month we want to release the next one, which will be uh, Phantom Nightmare. I think you need worse rules on the wheel. Well, the other thing is... Hey, hey! Thank you very much! You have a good time? Yeah, did, did you get my text? No, what's the text? Found my necklace. Oh my god! But here's the thing. Where was it? It was so at the Chad, bar? Yeah. About a month and a half ago, um, Joseph, Danny, and I were all out at a bar near us, and I lost my necklace. And I gave my phone number to the bartender. Was like, "Is it fine? I can text me back." He's like, "Sure." Um, I must have like wrote down a number wrong or something. Mm -hmm. I really can't read my handwriting. He's he found it a week later. He's been trying to text me ever since. That's so amazing. And every time we've been there, he happened to not be there. That's crazy. He like found it while he was like cleaning out under that booth. Well, anyways. There was like this cup back behind the register. They've been there for like a year and a half and he had put my necklace in there with the intention of like next time he saw me to give it to me. So he saw me today. He's like, excellent, you're here. You can go get your necklace. He goes, comes back, he's like, somebody moved this cup. This cup has been sitting here for two years and it's gone. Hold on. Poor man spent like a half hour. He like texted everybody who works there in a group chat. He was like, I was so happy to do a nice thing. And somebody moved this cup, and now I can't give this girl back her necklace, and she was so sad when she lost it. I was so happy. About a half hour, he finally found it. And he was so happy. Later, he, like, came by our table. We were, like, eating. He's like, is everything good? Like, yeah, he goes, listen, I don't care. I don't care how the rest of the service is. I found your necklace, and I'm so happy. Did you I tip gave, well? I am like, a $50 tip. Oh, that's I was, nice. Like, I was so happy. That's cute. But, yeah, look, it's right here. Well, that's here. No, it's, it's in oh, my wallet. Oh, that's so nice. Yeah, I was, like, really for the safety thing, so... You don't have to give me a new one for my birthday now. Good. Good. Um, I hope you haven't already. No, I haven't. Excellent. Now you can give me a different thing. Oh, good. Or nothing at all. Because oh. I'm unworthy or whatever. No. But I'm just so happy because I really missed my necklace. That's good. Yeah. I got our new necklace for Christmas, Chad. Yeah. It's just this specific necklace was pretty expensive. And if I couldn't find it, then I kind of wanted it to be replaced. But I'm really happy you don't have to do that now. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Are you, you're on the train? Mm -hmm. Is it still a train in Japan? Yeah, we're in Japan. Is it always the same train tracks? It's usually the same train tracks, yeah. Yeah, we're not going to, like, venture out. This is my commute, Jillian. Oh, okay. Yeah, you're right. You're mm. Just saying, there's a lot of really cool trains in the world. You can, like, look at new trains. We could do the Glacier Express. That's what one of my sleep tapes does. No, I, I like this train. Okay. Well, enjoy your commute through Japan on a train. Yeah, no problem. But what if Chad wants to see a new train? Eh, you know, fuck him. Oh, well. Yeah. 
think of it that way. You know, Jillian, there's a lot of women in the world, but I choose to be with the same one every day. So you're calling me a train? Well, maybe we can uh, get exploring the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I like trains, so I guess I could be like a train. Yeah. Have fun. That was the in-law. I mean, that wasn't. That was Jillian, obviously. Ugh. Ah. I can't take you anywhere. That's true. That's literally true. Random question. Did you ever manage to cash the check you ripped into pieces? No, the, the check cashing saga actually ended really unfortunately. I had to go get them to just send me another check. They were real mad about it too. I was like, okay, well, too bad. I thought the guy was a super overly friendly door dasher. No, they don't come to the door. <laughs> Ugh. Okay. Next up. All right, you, you all know what I want. I want to talk about some Twitter freaks. All right, we got some good ones today. These are the freaks that have popped up between Monday and today. So, you know, they have to be particularly freakish. First up, we've got, this is the one I've been seeing all day, this Asmongold clip. This is, <laughs> this clip is so good. All right. So the specifics of this Asmund Gold clip, which who, by the way, has seen my content, which means he must be a fan. I think actually he saw the content and he was like, that was very loud. You know, like, the, you know, he, he gave some sort of comment that like a child would give to a sensory video. Whoa, blue, you know, something like that. But um, he's talking about Pal World. Uh, if you uh, if you are unfamiliar, it's uh, Pal World is this like, uh, what if the Pokemon was edgy? type game and i'll be completely honest with you my opinion on pal world is that it's simply not good enough to generate this amount of discourse about it's one of those like nintendo hire this man type games and you know if you it, it, it seems like probably a fun way to kill an afternoon but it's another one of those like crafting open world games that just you know functionally looks like an asset flip of every other crafting open world game um so, uh, but uh, there, it, it's attracted the ire of Twitter.com because the developers have a previous game that utilizes generative AI. Now, it's not in the same way that a game like High on Life did in that a lot of the assets are made in AI. The point of the game is you all look at four AI prompts and try and figure out what person is an imposter and wrote a different prompt. That's the point of the game. It's like a weird way to use AI as a tool, but there's an argument that like it's still probably unethical. Anyway, here's Asmongold's amazing take on this incredibly nuanced uh, conversation. Ready to expect me to draw a moral line, I have to perceive a difference that I consider substantial. And I do not consider the difference substantial. Do you guys? No. Right. No. And that's really what matters. If it was made with AI, I'm completely okay with that because it was fun. The evidence cool. is it doesn't that matter. Nobody really cares the lead about this. developer has been very positive about AI in the past yeah. and made an AI game We're gonna play called this, by AI the way. Art Imposter that lets yeah. an AI artist draw a picture. And so that that was like like one of the yeah, games. We're going to be playing and, this this week. Yes, just generally has been much more uh, positive about some of the benefits of AI rather than what is the normal sentiment amongst artists and, and you know, I guess general uh, Twitter population, which is that, you know, AI is bad and it takes jobs from well, people. Well, AI and the sentiment from artists, artists' opinions don't matter. It just doesn't matter because what matters is the opinion of the people that are buying the product. 
like it doesn't like your opinion on it like just because you do it doesn't like nobody cares like it's it, it, it's not it's not relevant it's like whenever one of these like you know really well respected and and really respectable uh directors talks about how bad marvel is shut up old man shut up i like watching the thor movie it was cool i love him he's so good he asmund gold they gotta put this guy in a lab they should do like the einstein thing or after his death they should take out his brain and see how it differs from like a normal humans it's perfect it's it's so good it, this is the ultimate dream of every american is that you can get to this position a multi-millionaire specifically off of the backs of consuming that you can uh video yourself consuming as much as possible to as many people as possible and then you can make millions of dollars off of it i mean this is just the consumer mindset right it's like well i don't really care what what uh what was used to make this because it's another thing that i can purchase I, I could I could have this product. How incredible. I, I would be able to spend the money that I made consuming other products on additional products in an infinite cycle of eating my own tail while I'm taking a shit. It's it's incredible. Love the, the anti-Scorsese thing here where he's like, shut up, old man. He says it kind of weird, too. I just, it's strange. Shut up, old man. It's just like... I like the Thor movies. First off, if you want to say you liked the Iron Man movies, that's fine. You liked the Thor movies? Come on. I don't know. I, I would say this is how you all sound when you tell me that Applebee's is good. That that you you deserve to be able to go to Applebee's anytime you want. <laughs> all I have to say to you people is shut up, old man. Um, it, be a discerning consumer. That's what I'll say. Don't don't just throw money at a wall because you can. It's such a, a psychically damning way to live your life. Oh. <laughs> Aren't you the old man in this analogy though? Probably. I'll be honest, probably. <laughs> Uh, okay. Um, although let me see if I can find it. I may not have, uh, have bookmarked it. No, I didn't. I'll pull it up anyway because it is in my replies. This is, so this is a quote tweet. This is the future of gaming that he wants. Holy. Yo! Oh, holy Nintendo. Hire this man. Just slop. Slop all the way down. This is why this is why the most recent Pokemon games suck is they're not like this. All right, that was one bad take. Let's get to another. Folks, did you know that Elon Musk visited Auschwitz? <laughs> okay. Let's talk a little bit about this. So, Elon Musk visited Auschwitz, right? And uh why did this happen? Now, I think that it is there are a couple of organizations that when you say something super anti-Semitic online and you're like a high profile guy, they'll reach out to you and be like, hey, we want to cover your trip to either the Holocaust Museum or the one of the death camps um, just to kind of like um, as kind of a PR thing, but basically to be like functionally to show you that like there is a consequence to this insane ideology. Right. And uh, so... <laughs> Oh, man, I just... Okay, so... 
Ben Shapiro and Elon Musk went to the Auschwitz death camp this this past weekend and besides the horrors the worst that humanity is capable of that are just on display in what is probably the nexus of evil of all time they were shown oh my god a video titled if we had x in 1939 how many lives could have been saved and I mean, let's just watch this video together. Our ship just left the coast. I heard Germany. This one, this one actually does do a good job of showing what it would be like if X was around in 1939 because we've got someone being like, the genocide must end. And then we've got a blue check being like, are you sure that that's right? <laughs> Uh, many of you, I think, are correct. I believe that is the Inception music in the background. So this is um, this is the worst thing I've ever seen. I mean, there's legitimately like this might be the worst post on the platform. Uh, legitimately, like, has to be one of the worst things I've ever seen. I I think. Um, if X existed in 1939, it's probably one of the few conditions under which the Nazis could have theoretically won, right? Like, because they had all these fucking allies on Twitter.com. But no, it's this, it's unbelievable. It's truly shocking. And I mean, it, it's just, it's, it's so offensive on so many levels. Uh, the concept that a product like this would have stopped the Holocaust, the, the idea that they built this to like win over like one of the most disgusting people who who exists um the idea that like posting would have solved this atrocity and the obvious comparison to the way in which social media is being used for the genocides that currently happen in the united states I mean, not just israel palestine but like that's hardly the only one that's occurred while twitter existed in so many of these scenarios um social media aids and abets individuals who are perpetuating this stuff i mean facebook is in court because of its role in a significant number of genocides worldwide like this is truly truly evil legitimately one of the most evil things i've ever seen um, I, what, what, what could possibly be in the community notes? I literally, I don't know, man. I, uh, man, yeah, it's nothing. It's, it's what you would expect. It's no, the Nazi atrocities were reported. Uh, X wouldn't have changed anything. Um, but CJ Alex is right. There's another tweet that there's a point in here where he just like scrolls past a bunch of tweets and the tweets he scrolls by are incredible. They are not edited. So instead we get UK to become only G20 country and capable of raw steel production as top plant goes green. Um, we have, I don't know what this is. It's like a dieting ad um, in like I have targeted towards certifiedketodiet.com. We've got Breitbart, Snoop Dogg meeting Candace Owens. Oh my God. <laughs> the RNC's election integrity team is holding trainings nationwide to bring volunteers to our unprecedented election integrity field program. Sign up to become a poll watcher. Oh man. <laughs> Awful. Awful stuff. This is contender for worst tweet of the year, and it's January 24th. Next up. <laughs> Let's talk about the other insane thing that happened. Uh, there's another worst tweet. Oh, no, come on. The other insane thing that happened this week, um, which is, of course, <laughs> the Barbie movie. So if you're unfamiliar, the Barbie movie came out a little bit last year. Good movie. I watched this movie. I liked it a lot. Um, but Margot Robbie uh, did not get 
a nomination for Best Actress, and Greta Gerwig did not get a nomination for Best Director. I think they got, like, Best Song, Best Supporting Actress, Best Supporting Actor. They got, like, eight nominations. But people have been shitting their doo-doo ass about this. Uh, this comes from Time Columnist Mary McNamara. If only Barbie had done a little time as a sex worker, or barely survived becoming the next victim in a mass murder plot, or stood accused of shoving Ken out of the dream house's top window. Certainly millions of Barbie fans are wishing they could push someone, perhaps a member or two of the Academy, out of a very high window. Okay, so this is like an insane tweet. Uh, the, I do like the mass murder plot they're talking about is like, it's it's um Killers of the Flower Moon, right? It's currently... You know, I think the first indigenous person ever to be nominated for Best Supporting Actress. But they're like, but Margot Robbie got snubbed. Disgusting. Um, but if you thought that this was the worst take about this situation, you would be wrong. Folks, I introduce you <laughs> to 2016 presidential hopeful. Hashtag I'm still with her. Hillary Clinton, <laughs> Greta and Margot. While it can sting to win the box office but not take home the gold, your millions of fans love you. You're both so much more than Kenuff. <laughs> Are in line to watch Barbie stay in line. Oh my god. God, it's so funny that like, you know, as soon as, as Trump won, this person who was at the time the head of the Democratic Party just disappeared into the ether for fucking dick shit anything about the last eight years shows back up to be like, man, Barbie, huh? <sighs> I'll, I'll be I'll be surprised if if Barbie wins an Oscar after this. Uh, next up, <laughs> let's see if I can find the quote tweet of this. Yeah, here we go. Oh, here's one more about the Barbie situation. I'm so sick of running as fast as I can, wondering if I'd get there quicker if I was a man. It's kind of fucked up that there's so many men in the uh, best actress category. <laughs> Let's uh let's talk about this guy. This comes from Chase Levitt. I will always be unapologetically pro-life because of all God's children deserve to live. So Roe v. Wade was implemented, which caused millions and millions. Okay, I I can't listen to this. He's yapping, but um I just want you all to look at the haircut. What is going on with this haircut? He's got like the front is poofed out like an Instagram style haircut, but it's a mullet, right? This guy's name is a command to a very dumb golden retriever. Chase, leave it. <laughs> that, look at this. This is this is unhinged. This is monstrous. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no! I, he's got like almost a fade on the sides. It does look like a hat. It does look like a hat. Wow! It is a a real life baseball cap. Really, really weird. All right, let's watch this together. Burger King bathroom for free. Within minutes, I was caught cleaning their bathroom. When Alejandro, the employee, saw my beautiful work, he immediately left to go get his manager. I have so many questions. Is it okay for me to clean here? Or will Alejandro be back to kick me out? I'm so worried. This is one of the dirtiest Burger King bathrooms I've ever seen, which is wonderful. The dirtier, the better. I just hope I have enough time to give it a deep clean. I have no idea if I have minutes or hours to get the job done, so I'm gonna work fast. But I won't leave until it's perfect. Like this, you could eat off that sink. I appreciate everyone who follows me to do these transformations. And that's when Alejandro came back. He said he appreciates my work, but if I don't leave, he's gonna call the cops. <laughs> I love this. It's so fucking good. The, I love this tweet. The fact that you can no longer clean public spaces without getting kicked out is the sign of a dying civilization. True! 
This tweet, of course, is like clearly bait, <laughs> but everyone is like l losing it in the responses. The fact that she chooses not to wear gloves is beyond me. It's the only way to get a proper clean, honestly. Why no gloves, though? She's just passionate, honestly. It's illegal for a for-profit business to accept volunteer labor. No, it isn't. <laughs> true! Very true. <laughs> All right. Ugh, next up. Oh, my God. Friend of the channel, the Anarchist Turtle, is added again. This is the individual who we had on a couple of weeks ago for asking their teacher to be put to the gulag for <laughs> giving them a, a minus five on a test. So we have right-wing extremism. I brutalize minorities regularly. And left-wing extremism. I shoplift to get poor people some food and. So this is, uh, of course, playing with dolls. We've got the little Wojaks out. And the quote tweet, before anyone accuses me of LARP, I actually have done both of these things. Oh, my God. So, unfortunately, I know a little more about this than I should. The current thing that's happening on this section of Twitter is people are getting at each other's throats for LARPing because of this tweet that just will not die. That's like, everyone I know who doesn't vote says, I don't vote because it doesn't accomplish as much as bombing a Walmart and then don't bomb a Walmart. <laughs> That tweet's funny, but also, like, not, like, it's a funny tweet, but it's a dog shit argument. But as a result, it gets quote tweeted everywhere, and now every anarchist thinks that they now have to prove their creds online. Firstly, I would just, I would argue, maybe don't, maybe don't post about all the crimes you've done. And secondly, um, this guy brutalizes minorities regularly? <laughs> what the fuck? Come on. Ugh. Oh, my God. <laughs> not legal advice. Listen, I'm not qualified to give legal advice, but I will give you this advice. Follow the advice of shut the fuck up Friday. What the fuck is wrong with you? Mm. I will be honest. The Anarchist Turtle does have creds. We've all seen his homework assignment that his teacher gave him minus five for. Next up. Randomly thought of this. This would go hard on a mechanic character. A gear for a scrunchy man. That would go crazy. Oh, wait. It's Kit. Kit already has this. I saw some Yu-Gi-Oh person quote tweet this, and I couldn't get it in time. That's a nut, not a gear. Same principle. You know, it's the same principle. She's nutting. I got in a lot of heat on this uh, app one day for asking if people thought Albaz and Kit fucked. Where do you all land on this? Albaz is gay. Albaz is a lot of things. He's not gay. Kit is ace. I think Kit fucks the sprites. But that's not like sex, right? They do. They even have a fusion. Wait, Kit and Kit and Albaz have a fusion? Rindbroom. That's the ship. No, he'll fuck the ship. They fucked on the ship. That's why it's a fusion. Yes, you're right. Kit, Albaz, and Ecclesia are poly. Listen, you guys got to stop yapping. I, I hate to do this to you because there are so many gay characters, and I think it's very funny when, uh, when, when people get mad about like the gay uh, live twins and shit. But like, unfortunately... Albaz is straight. Ecclesia is monogamous. It's rough coming to terms with it.
It's okay. We can fix her. Ecclesia. Do you have? That's the whole plot of the storyline. They tried to fuse her with 666 other people. Didn't work. A Luber is gay, though. No, he's not. In what world is a Luber gay and says no? Oh, a Luber. Yeah, a Luber's gay. Yeah, a Luber is a gay person. Yeah, he was Albaz. A Luber is... No, here's what I would say. I wouldn't even call a Luber gay. I would say that he is attracted to power. <laughs> what about super producer? He's gay. <laughs> Luber is Virgil. <laughs> Power equals Albaz in this metaphor. I mean, have you read Sanctifier? No, Sanctifier is Ecclesia. Have you read Mirror Jade? No, Mirror Jade is the Ice Jades. Have you read Lubellion? What about Spriggan's Rocky? Who's he getting with? Peter. What? Peter. How is that even a question? Spriggan's Rocky gets with Peter. Hey, Peter. Sargas gets with Kit. Branga is not like a person. What about Sword Soul of Moye? I don't think Sword Soul of Moye is an individual. I think it's like a life force, right? Fleur is the big one. Fleur's actually lesbian, though, right? Shereg? No, all the all the tri brigades are poly. Uh, sorry, the three big tri brigades are poly. The other tri brigades, I don't know if they're like adults. Shereg and Farajit are definitely fucking. No, I mean like. Yes, but also the link three is too, right? The silver sheller. Where does Gazelle fit into this? <laughs> Gazelle and Soulburner fuck. And it's not weird, actually. That was wrong. In terms of overlaying. What about the Link 5? The Link 5 is just the Link 4 with a gun. The gun is the fifth Link. Bussy Phallus 2. They really named this guy Bussy Phallus. Next up. Okay.
Okay. Let's talk a little bit about Yu-Gi-Oh! The Gathering, huh? Did I post this twice? Whoops. So, oh, I forgot to delete this too. Uh, yesterday we got the uh, the new Ashed monsters. I think they are fine. I think they're good. I don't think they're like crazy strong. Uh, I think that they uh, they're a good first wave, and I'm excited to see what happens with them. Unfortunately. As a result of these cards releasing, Bonfire is now a $1 billion card. It's a result of this releasing and also just like the price was just kind of going back up anyway. Let's see what we're at. $107. Wait. This one's $69.69, but it's a heavily played. This card's been out a week. How can there be a heavy played one? Thanks, down to game. Uh, oh. Should have bought at 65, buddy. I thought it would settle at 65. And, you know, admittedly, while it was at 65 at one point, it did not. <laughs> I thought worst case it would settle back at 80. But I think, and that looked to be like around where it was going to end up. But uh, no, um, this kind of seals the deal, I think. Look up SP. All right. Oh, looks good. Oh. Not oh. That's okay. I'm sure it will be in the second rarity collection. Um, but I do want to say one thing that I've been really happy with. Um, uh, as you all know, I got in some, some shit last uh, week in which I was talking sort of about how Yu-Gi-Oh! players uh, talk about cards. And um, what, had, uh, what had sort of upset me is that um, we don't have the resources necessary to really learn any sort of deck in depth. But we also lack kind of the conceptual pieces just about playing Yu-Gi-Oh! in the abstract. Thinking about the game's systems and having important discussions about like how those systems interact with each other and how you can manage those systems to your advantage. Um, so uh, I am happy to report that a number of people have since started to fill the void. Um, today, Pack uploaded a video called Why You're Not Winning in Yu-Gi-Oh! that has... I would say a, a bunch of really good uh, information that I found a little rudimentary, but uh, really good introductory information as to um, some things to think about when performing deck selection uh, that many people just wouldn't wouldn't think to do. Um, unfortunately, it really does display kind of the uh, the ineffectiveness of uh, video versus articles because it's like kind of him just like talking. Um, it, it's unrehearsed, and as a result, it um, it can't get that in depth. I mean, it's a 14 minute long video, um, but it's still really valuable insight, uh, and I hope that it it spurns or it spurs more people to do something similar, um, in terms of their content. Uh, additionally, let's see if I can find it. How much does this guy post? A lot. Oh my god, I'm only to the 18th. Uh, here we go. Dimax, who you may know as the person who, who puts up a bunch of Blackwing videos has uh, written an article um, about Blackwing. And uh, this 
particular it's not necessarily a primer in the sense that it resolves everything about it it is it do, is still like very much here's the cards you are playing and here's why but this um uh this is really really helpful stuff um i would encourage you to go uh seek it out on your own it's on medium um, even after a discussion of each individual card and like its use cases, it has like some builds, uh, it has some like a little bit of combo discussion, uh, and it also has um, some guides about banishing for prosperity and how you should be considering it, as well as uh, some sideboarding patterns for some of the top decks, which is something that's almost always missing in these little guides. Um, as well as some discussion of how you should be preparing in games two and three for what you expect an opponent who should otherwise be unprepared for you to be boarding into. Um, really good stuff. Um, uh, much, much better than uh, most of the primers that are produced. And in the vein of just sort of thinking about card game systems, I do want to shout out this article written by our own Siberian Rabbit, uh, they have their own, I guess, substack called 21st Century Merc Dweller. Um, and this specific article, Rulings, Rules, Reasons, uh, is about... I mean, I don't really know how to describe the article. Uh, fuck you, I will not subscribe to your substack. Um, but what it does is basically helps duelists conceptualize... that is sort of ever-present in Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, and thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh!'s systems in such a way that makes not only receiving information, but also disseminating information really, really um, way more simple. Uh, this is like a five-minute read. Uh, it's, it's really good stuff. Um, I, will, I will link this. And uh, we'll just we'll pin it here if a mod could. Uh, but I am really happy that in the wake of that discussion, we are starting to get resources that go beyond here is a spreadsheet that has like the combos you can perform with X deck. Because I think as Pac describes in that video, um, that's a really bad way to conceptualize a competitive ecosystem. Like what I don't want is everyone to be like, oh, so you're saying every deck should have a combo spreadsheet. Got it. What I do want is people who feel comfortable writing about thinking about Yu-Gi-Oh. And, you know, here we are. Walt, you can't pin it? These mods, man. There we go. I got it. Look at Leah's go live tweet real quick. Sure. It's Femcell Wednesday. Oh, I've this this image is well known. Come on. All right. Let's watch Saga. I'm so glad we get to do this. So, uh, Doug asked us not to watch Master Saga the week that it comes out. Um, so we don't steal all his views. So instead, we will be watching the saga that came out exactly one week ago. Welcome to Master Saga Season 5. This season, I've invited Barfa and Nim Nim to join me in a brand new round robin version of Saga. Each week, all three So, the of short of it is, what we're going to be doing instead of normal Saga is we're going to be doing this like for the next episode. If you this go three person Saga, the next episode, you get to craft one UR or lower from your secret. We're just reinventing one progression one playoffs, is what SR I'm saying. Or lower. And if you go 0 2, you'll get two common or rare crafts. In addition to the standard Master Duel ban list, Legacy bans are 
back. Eldritch, Pancratops, Zeus, Access Code Talker, Lightning Storm, and Solemn Judgment are all forbidden. New this season, though, we're introducing legacy bands for several powerful secret packs. Here we the go. cards found in these packs are not automatically restricted, but you're not allowed to open the pack at any point during the season. All of these have seen plenty of use in past episodes, so it's time to let some newer packs have a chance. The band packs are Danger Kaiju, Prank Kids, Orcus Crusadia, Mech Knight Nightmare, Sword Soul Yang Zing, Tenyi Yang Zing, Virtual World Tindangle, Dogmatica Tri Brigade Spring Gans, and Trap Tricks. Tune in every Wednesday for a new episode. Why the fuck did he ban the Tindangle pack? Fuck you! Oh my god, that is literally an affront to me specifically. All right, Twitter thread prepped. What we should we should put the Twitter thread up first so people can can post about it. You are right, chat. What should we um what should the Twitter thread for this week be? Twitter thread, what Yu-Gi-Oh? That's pretty good. I kind of like one of these. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Often, Yu-Gi-Oh! has incredibly iconic cards that we expect to see in every deck. And then, after one new release... We never see them again. Cards that were good at the time or filled a niche that now that have since been power crept. What old Staples are past their 15 minutes of fame, and why? Uh, so I've got a really good one here. We used to see Borload all the time, and then they printed Boral Sword. So what I would like here mostly is a discussion of the card that pushed out these old cards. Oh. What the fuck? There we go. Oh, and we have we have put him in here three times. Leave it like that, maybe. Uh. Twitter is so good right now. It is, like, really good. All right. Back to Saga. Episodes of Master Saga Season 5. Dum, bum, Short bum, majority bum, bum. says we should go with the synchro deck. I honestly disagree. But if this is the one Whoa. you guys want to see, I'm for it. We'll launch it. I think the link. That's the better. crush card special, baby. We're, We're already, already back. Card. Are we sure? Are we sure? The votes have changed. It looks like everyone's agreeing that the link one is probably a little bit better. I would say most of them are pretty balanced. It seems like the blue eyes one is like actually really bad. The synchro one has three MSTs. I like the synchro Jenny one because of the MSTs. Yeah. This one has jelly cannon and parallel twister, which are equally as good cards. I, and I feel like. 
our 10 packs anyways is going to be a completely different deck than we were playing before. I'd like to have generic cards to put in. And then the extra deck cards are probably going to be more generically useful in the long run. So let's take the Link Generation deck. I feel like it's probably the right choice. Let's hope we don't regret it. It is a little quiet. Let me turn it up. Okay, and now I got to enter the player name. This will be Nim Nim Saga. Keep it nice. Should have named it MBT2. You do. Welcome back mm. to another season of Master Wait, Saga. The Returning World of Warcraft again, Cataclysm shirt. Is one. that Myra? And here we are with a round robin. Myra, person, it's uh, me. Thing. Now I must announce to you my first and foremost the uh, choosing that I went through, which was the Synchro of Unity. In hindsight, Correct. the Dragon one is probably just better. But I wanted a couple of good staples from here. I think MST is pretty good. I think uh, Kunai with Chain is pretty good as well. And I'm even going to play Shard of Greed because it's fun. Yeah, the other great. staples are probably better, like the uh, Call of the Haunted, the Ring of Destructions from the other set. But I feel like the three MSTs are actually going to go a long way, long term. So that's why I tried to uh, pick up on this one. So that's my structure deck I Did chose here. Let's jump wow. into some pack openings and see if we can get any good staple spicy stuff. Stuff. Remember, there's a lot of legacy bans this, played, um, this time round, so uh, we won't be jumping into any of those banned was. packs as much as we would love to be cheating. <laughs> I played World of Warcraft All right, for 13 we are days, here with Master Saga Warcraft. Season 5. The first even decision, Warcraft as 3, always, Warcraft is two. picking which starter deck we're going to go into. Warcraft I feel like Jelly Tides Cannon kind of falls off so after just of a few episodes, so I'm going to be going into the Synchro one too. because it has That's MST, which should be good for quite a while. Not to mention that in the past, I've gotten a lot of good uses out of Colossal Fighter. I do like this card quite a bit. So this is the starter deck we're going into. childhood? Not true. Copied to my deck. Broken. Play your name. Okay, so I can't Never reach played the Diablo. keyboard. No. Here, I'll just let my cat. My cat wants to just be all spaces, I guess. We have 10 master packs to open up. And then on top of that, 10 secret packs of whatever we can pull from those masters. Gage we specifically really seems pretty quiet. Battle City with uh, Eldritch. That has been a strategy that historically in Master Saga has been banned. Those bans are going to be in effect. Thank for God, by the way. Here. Fuck so Eldritch. I can't ride on that free win all the way to the top there. Hopefully we can pull something that can compete. Oh, oh. Damn, they really be giving the new players good treatment. That's mm -hmm. insane. That's got to be like really good. That's going to give new us a lot of player options. polls. All right, well, let's get started. New player polls. It's true. All right, what do we got? Pack numero uno. Oh, is that Sirocco the Dawn? Oh my God, Black. Why don't we Moon play? Mirror Shield, by the way, I, I haven't even seen the super rare. This card. Do we not get a memes tweet for this? I, no. So this you think we can do memes? Many, I guess we could. On its own. This card's crazy. Avacuso, right, thank you for the sub. Lupon Karma, thank you for the sub. The Doc Perry, thank you for the sub. Dubtail Echo, thank you for the 10. Zarko Plays, thank you for the 18. Brett the Gamer, thank you for the 22. Yuri Artillery, thank you for the 34. Princely Crow, thank you for the 28. Diamond Dave L, thank you for the 34. Swag Nasty, 69, thank you for the 18. Talarian 101, thank you for the 32. Uh, Atomic Coco, thank you for the Prime. And we should be caught up. First two, we got a Cross Porter. That card's actually legit. Anybody ever see Cross Porter before? Cross Porter's real. Abyss Actor! Oh! Does that have a, that does have oh. a secret pack. What else we got here? A uh, couple mythical bestiary, quickie mirror to Nanado. Okay, let's see. What do we got? Swift Scarecrow. Great Yu-Gi-Oh card. Honestly, I'll take that. And then our UR? Divine Heroes. Oh, I just we're got that. Heroes, aren't we? Totally doable. First UR, kind of a letdown. I don't feel myself playing Heroes anytime soon. I don't think that's a, a viable strategy. What else we got? Here? Abyss Actor. Yeah, Abyss Actors are kind of hot. Maybe there's something there. Let's see here. What do we got? Doom Caliber Knight. Very Doom solid 1900 big. body. Remember him from Edison format. What do we got in this one, though? White, White. Aura Whale. That's apparently part of two secret packs. All right. Height. Broken. Wait, my pack. Wait, my friends are saying that is insane. Is that actually really good? No, that card's Maybe crazy. Maybe I have something already in the works. What is that unlocked that's broken? I mean, White Aura Whale is a good card in general, but. Cupid Pitch, Turquoise Warbler, Des Wombat. Let's go, baby. All right, another I'm UR, like though. Cupid bitch. This could change the direction again, you know? What do we got? Whoa! Oh, All wow. Centered towards the front. Let's see what we got. A couple uh, decent <laughs> rares and commons. Cross there. cards what beat me to it. Thing? Center. Wallow. Wallow is good. Generic rank six. Doesn't unlock a pack. Wallow is good. DDD Flame Gangus. Is that Flame deck King good? Gungus. I, I think this deck is super high rarity, unfortunately. UR, though. Let's see what do we got. Oh. Hey, Distant Coders in chat. Hey, you want to coach me how to play Runic for Hire? Is that is that a... You wanna for Hire might not be terrible. I think this does unlock a secret pack for For Hire. 
So maybe there's something to build there. That's pretty great. Quacky Meru? Bergzak. We're definitely building Quacky Meru. Two more packs. DDD is weird okay. because you can build the format NR. Oh, another UR? So like it might be okay. playable, but it doesn't build into anything. I was very fortunate to get this many hollows. Which is awesome because it gives us a ton of options, which I like to see. What, what do we got here? Little Fluanderies action. Silver Sentinel. Oh my goodness. Clock Resonator. UR? What do we got? We got a lot so of nice does cards. Not unlock a secret pack, but what a cool card. All right, number nine, number nine, number nine. What do we got? Chaos Goddess, Priestess with Eyes of Blue, or Magic Key World action. Whoa, it's Nut Buster Dragon. It I can't is. It. For I must bust a nut. Unfortunately, it doesn't <laughs> unlock a secret pack along with it. We are on pack number 10. What do we get for the last master pack here? Honestly, I can't complain. These were insanely good. Uh, Cyber Dark Dragon. Fire Cracker. Whoa. Cracker. Romancer Intervention. I don't, I don't think I'll be playing Libromancer, but what's the last one here? Delta, the Magnet Ooh, Warrior. the Magnet Warrior wow. pack is actually okay. sick. So I need to point out that we unlocked 10 different secret packs. Wow, which nice. Which is unbelievably lucky, right? Like, that gives us so many different choices of where we want to go. YouTube! Here we are, back with our pack openings. We got 10 master packs. Doesn't look like we got any ultra rares, which, you know, I mean, that's probably not a Whatever. big deal. Uh, a you bunch don't need of supers ultras. is really what we're looking after, because uh, those allow you to Stairs of Mali. packs here. And, oh boy, if it isn't the Goatmeister himself, you're a best soldier. 1800 beat stick that can discard a water to pop a card or return a card. Might actually play this. It's week one, baby. It's week one. All right, our first ever holo of the series. Is it going to be Farfa? Layer of Darkness. That's not bad. That might be a good pack. That's not that bad. Might be a good pack. Kind of fucked that Layer of Darkness is a super, though. All right, what do we got here? Oh, uh, the Fluffle Pack. The Fluffle Pack's very the good. The Fluffle Pack. I'm not very Doug good at knows that, that. Pack, but we could give it a shot here. Oh, after, it's after, great. After, it's after, really after, good. After three polys, right? Uh, literally no good staples here, unfortunately. Kid Brave, Hextrude, and... Ooh, Ibsella Lutia. Super soldier that shoot. got a reprint Black in Luster the Valmonica set. Yeah, that thing is so bad. And I tried to play that for, like, one season. Didn't go very well, did it? <laughs> oh, Black Brachios is a good card. Templar, it's a powerful retainer, individual card. Opening is it's Chronomaly Telpa oh Guardian. God, bot chest. Are we going to try and play Blue Eyes? <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to try and play some Blue Eyes? That could be very funny. The first blue eyes yeah, on the saga. Oh, Fire Kings. Yeah, well, it's going to be a while before we get Ponix in this pack, but, uh, you know, that's good to see. Please and don't talk about leaked good cards, Farfa. Literally Farfa. no good staples. Wow. That is ADM awesome. RVP, is thank you for the sub. <laughs> and here we've got Tribra, Tribra Game. Care it. Ass. Three years its peak. 36 Protoss. months it really is. No! Elemental Hero Clay, man. This Fuck! guy actually beats uh, Tear Lament, by the way. Don't believe me? Ooh, Curse Necrofear. Are we going to try and play, like, Structured Tournament Destiny Board? Is that the plan? It Probably seems all right. right. And a Bestial Siren here. Doesn't this guy unlock, like, Siren here is insane. Face, what? I, I get to be in every single, uh... Siren here? here all right, what, what else we got? We've got... Scrapter. Are we ready to pop the dino? And we've got Abyss an uh, egg, egg Angel. Okay, l actually just... I really appreciate he didn't make a Maui are, joke. Are the, are the play okay, this is a banned oh, pack. Oh, that's the one. To go into this it's one. legitimately it's banned. banned. Oh! Uh, Utopia Kek Double. That's actually insane. If we get Farfa, please enough, go in that pack. That pack's game insane. Game. Please. Just give me a bunch of secret packs. You're about five open. times lighter than the video. That's sorcerer. ideal. And the Harmatan and Qadran. Qardan, the clear-sided. When this is normal summon, set a continuous trap from your hand or grave. This is a, uh, a Shizu card, isn't it? And last pack here. Look how many secrets we've opened. This is looking not too bad. By the way, we didn't get a single ultra. No, we got one. We got one. We got one. We got one. And Jack Adam, off all seeker. games. Thank you for the eight. Cross of the dance prince. Oh, oh. The trap in the castle. Wait a minute. Oh I think we oh. just play labyrinth, baby. Uh, and <laughs> oh, oh. oh. <laughs> good rank four. Good rank four. Exiton nine. God, all right. I hate this is Farfa looking like a good so little, much. Uh, a good start to the season. Our pulls. Oh, we got four ultra rares. That's nice. Actual good staple rank four card. Probably a uh, very good pack to go like into. The as worst well as content creator. Like he used to like be good, but he bad. fell off. Uh, all right, let's explore some of the secret Once he pack closed his World of Warcraft and, uh, account. See uh, what we're going to pull and play for the rest of this portion of the season. All right, here we are with the packs. He, he, uh, he pizzaed when he should have French fried. Myro would have 900,000 subs by now. He went woke. That's literally true. want options now there Where are the a lot of banned everyone packs, okay here I hold up about in the intro so you got to keep that in mind I have there's to a move lot of myself around here you know there's 150 
Seeker packs. So, let's go. Stack Revive. Uh, <laughs> advanced Darkness. Uh, yeah, I mean, Crystal Beast? The Crystal Beast pack isn't the best, but it's also not the worst. There, there are go. a lot of good low rarity cards in that set. Um, Can you help convince Danny to play WoW on Projection Variety Tuesdays? Rare, no. Farfa, will you play of World of Dark. Warcraft Melfi on Variety Tuesday contest. with Danny? Whoa. Season Farfa, will, one you play, will you play Defense of the Ancients Harpies, with me? This is a good pack. Channeler is a crazy first card to pull, too. There I'm hanging out with Farfa. Play a season, little Dota. We could make it work. I hear you, man. Dark World, throwback. Uh, what is it? One one level. I mean, let's start a Yugi Tuber Pal World. I'm good. Pack Will you play four? Age of Empires with me? Gusto. No. Gradius. I mean, this is pretty bad. Isn't Age pack of Empires five. just like <laughs> we got pulled two Tealmans? It's like Starcraft, oh God, but for like non-Koreans. Is that telling us going to the Harpy Pack? It's Warcraft for people who I mean, are like, actually, really Hitler could have won. Divine Wrath. Excellent pickup for this early on. Um, we could play Artifact Beagle Tech to fuck with them. I mean, if they want no, to that's the Hearts MST of Iron Four. That's, that's what I'm thinking good. of. Yeah, three MST is pretty strong enough. You know, Gavin that. plays like Let's 19 hours of, of I mean, Age Harpies of Empires are definitely a the day. front runner right now. Prize card, Lavels. Um, yeah, I don't think we're gonna go into the Lavel pack. We did. You do could. Lavels cool. Crazy. Wow, Canadian. Canadian. The, every Paleo yeah. you get in just well, the front half of any deck is just a huge boon to your strategy. Trap cards already, which I love to see. Transverser! Oh, we're crazy. That is so good. That is insane. Unfortunately, Final I Master wish there was like a Yugi Tuber thing we could do. Kind of leaning like towards a game heartbeat. we all play together with some sort of but, progression element to it. Ooh, instead got? of just like one off Two Among Us lobbies. Pack, but unfortunately, the best one is Reptilian? Minecraft. And I'm. Okay, listen, I'm not going to. I've learned that. I'm not going to spend any of my time defending trunk. Gage that from like. Way too many archetypes. The, yeah, the Yugi Tuber SMP grooming allegations. I've gotten baited by it four times, but this could be the time that it works. Let's let's take a look and think about that. Does anyone else right, ship Gage gentlemen. and Joseph? Ten what would what would our ship name be? On the rulers of the deep featured cards, big things we're looking for is actually funny enough. None of the upper stuff. I don't care if I get any of these SRs or URs. I'm mainly looking Earth for like cards like rare torrential <laughs> tribute, a couple pacifist Gosef. phantasm cities. Everyone's saying Gosef. All right, good start. I, hey, what would the would Farfa and Gage ship be? <laughs> so let's let's do the that. ones for um. All right, numero uno. You know what? Actually, here's what we'll do. There's a torrential tribute right off the bat. Oh my god, he went into the white pack. Stealth attack are the ones that we want to pair with the field white, spell. white, Huge. white, Actually white. Amazing. Let's start treating the three-way master saga as like an SMP, where we all make like Again, really Tumblr really style yaoi, like uh, drawings of all the characters. So, what's Legendary the Gage Ocean. and Farfa the ship name? <laughs> Garfield. <laughs> That's great. Okay. That's really good. SR. Okay, oh, how about Farfa and Doug? That's fine. Got the white aura dolphin, which pairs well with our white aura whale. That's actually pretty good, I think. What's this Yu-Gi-Oh? Fug. I like Fug a lot. Holy shit, a Quimby! That's a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. All right, we'll do that in a sec. <laughs> That's a good and then what about the general. Doug Gage one? Damn, where's fa where's my pacifist? I really need it. Halfway through, no pacifist. We're going to make it, baby. I'm We're going to make it. I'm upset. I'm not going to lie. He's experiencing the same thing I did when I opened this set. Come on. Oh, oh. That's the wrong Umi. It's not the right field spell. <laughs> Man, I don't Doge, all the ones treated as Doge, Umi. I don't Fug, want that one. This and, actually might be uh, really and scary Yarfa. if I don't get the field spell I want. Oh. oh, man. Oh, man. I'm sorry, man. This is just how it happens. Right in hand of the light sworn. In glossy rare. Whoa. Oh, another is UO. Is that Okay. All right. Yeah! Yes. Yeah! Okay, we only needed one. Flip up the rest of them. It's fine, bro. Okay, woo! Now we can play this. Okay, okay more of them, okay. more we of them, please. We can play this now. Yes! Yeah! Yeah! Two of them in the same one! Yes! Oh, I can't lose now. All right, I don't even care what the UR is. What is this? Who's the Sam dream of the Prog SMP? Bell. All right, cool. That's me. All right, yeah. last two packs. It's like, um, the hard part Farf is going to be on a hot mic in a car, else? like, because you sang Farfalicious, that's why I think you're a... Good? Add a torrential tribute from deck to hand. Huge! I get to search. I've the never seen someone so excited for stun. Broken. Kill this man, right, chat. Ban him. We got another UR for the Pacifist isn't stun, you Honest, plebeian. Opening, it's peak. Complain. A third would only be the thing that gets me rock solid. What else? Yeah. Love it. He's hard for it too. Ooh, first power is good. Ooh, legendary fisherman two is good too. Oh, dragon. Good to get one of those. I didn't know we didn't have one yet. You play him, right? You don't play the fans. No, you play him. In limited, you play him. 
Oh, oh my whoa! god! Whoa! That's like insane. That sick. Could you imagine if I got a toad too? That would be so sick. All right, what else we got though? What's the last one here? Another Fury's Fury. great. Fury's I really good. I think we're winning. I, I think we're Safe legitimately to say winning. I'm going to be winning the first episode of Master Saga Season 5. So I'll see you guys in the winner's circle. He doesn't know. Toad doesn't know banned. what? Oh, it. the Toad That's is banned? Right. It is not. It is banned. Still Wait, I thought they could play banned cards. This is crazy. Well, well that was a promising... Uh, <laughs> Take two. Well, that was a promising... Uh, what is, he, what is he, this little <laughs> fruity thing he's doing? Take three. That was good card. That's how we're going to do this one. All right. So we got... That was good card. However, we did get a Quimby redeem. So, we're going to do a little Quimbying. Folks, if you're unfamiliar with this, Quimby is a subscription uh, service that gives you uh, case briefs for a bunch of law school cases. Uh, I happen to be a member, and they have these like weird AI-generated explainers of each individual case. So, what we're going to do is, first, let's pick a uh, subject. Um, what have I done? Uh, what am I currently doing? You know, we've, we've, we've really been doing a lot of evidence. Let's, let's keep it up on evidence. Uh, and let's just pick any of these and then let's pick a, a case. What cases do we like here? We did old chief already, right? We did Lucasfilm. Oh, do we do trammel? Okay. Here we go. When people marry, they tr traditionally promise to remain together in good times and in bad. Otis Trammell surely believed that his marriage to Elizabeth Trammell had hit rock bottom when she appeared as the federal government's star witness against him at his heroin smuggling trial. The United States... Okay, first off... God forbid that a man smuggle even even a little bit of a lot of heroin, okay? The Supreme Court addressed the thorny evidentiary issues of this situation in Trammell versus United States. A mere three months after their wedding, Otis and Elizabeth Trammell conspired with others to import heroin from Thailand into the United States. Okay, and, and who among us had? Otis directed Elizabeth to travel to Thailand, pick up heroin, and smuggle it back to the United States. Wait, hold she up. She did so on... They said Otis and his wife did this, but it sounds like Otis just told his wife to do it. Two occasions, but was detected by agents of the Drug Enforcement Administration on the second trip when she was changing planes in Hawaii. At that point, she agreed to cooperate with the agents and proceed with the delivery of the heroin to one of her husband's fellow drug dealers. After she made the controlled delivery, the members of the conspiracy, including Elizabeth and Otis, were arrested and charged in federal court with importation of heroin. At her husband's jury trial, Elizabeth appeared as the prosecution's star witness against her husband in exchange for... What happened to ride or die in this fucking nation? ...partial immunity and the promise of leniency in her own case. Otis objected to her testimony on the ground that the federal common law spousal testimonial privilege prevented one spouse from testifying against the other. The district court overruled his objection and allowed Elizabeth to testify. Based primarily on her testimony, the jury convicted Otis. On appeal, the United States Court of Appeals for the Tenth Circuit affirmed Otis Trammell's conviction. He successfully petitioned the United States Supreme Court to review his case. The Supreme Court addressed the issue of whether the federal common law spousal testimonial privilege, which categorically prohibited one spouse from testifying against the other, should be modified to allow a spouse to voluntarily testify. All right. If you think that Trammell should be able to exclude his wife's testimony about his his admittedly maybe a little risky but otherwise harmless hobby of importing a ton of heroin into the United States, you're voting Trammell here. If you think that the common law spousal testimonial privilege should be modified to allow a spouse that is willing to testify and gives the testimony freely and voluntary, you know, should should not be excluded, then you're voting United States. All right, vote now on your phones. You have about 30 seconds. I've seen a lot of you saying United States. I mean, what what do you want me to say? Like, honestly, God forbid men have hobbies, right? 
Chat says, dropping a band on the government house always win wins. Some Trammel voter, some lucky Trammel voter is about to get a huge payout. U.S. here is getting, what, 1.125? Disgusting. You wouldn't accept that rate on heroin. <laughs> Chat says, I need my heroin. <laughs> All right. Here we go. In an opinion by Chief Justice Berger, the court modified the common law spousal testimonial privilege previously recognized in Hawkins v. United States by permitting one spouse to voluntarily testify against the other spouse in federal court proceedings. God damn it. You fucking burger. The court's holding did not affect the related but distinct marital communications privilege, which prohibits one spouse from testifying about private marital communications, even if the testifying spouse is willing to do so. Oh, my God. Honestly, justice for Trammell. You know, he only made one mistake, and that was marrying the wrong woman. And maybe one additional, slightly smaller mistake of importing a bunch of heroin Got into the United cards. States. That means Aaron Yer takes us here. Unlocking for us the bestial pack. I verify. Would Jillian narc on you? God, I hope not. I would never narc on Jillian, the by the way. And the pre bans and the legacy bans, the Hall of Fame. I made sure <laughs> I'm like, this seems insane. I'm fucking I serious blackout here. Sure, I would die! Die before I sent my wife to jail for importing 50 pounds of heroin. Our free pull is going to be. Da, 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 da. Uh, we got Sanguine for bands, uh, but we got double Heratic Dragon of Tefnuit. That is insane. That is just, hmm, that's so good. All right, uh, now, and Secret Packs. We're looking for Beasteals, baby. Oh, oh nice deck. God. Wait, uh, how is right, this listen, pack legal? The other legal? one was a bit of a Jabay animation as well. This, this one pack looks Jibay insane. Well. We how is this legal? Of, uh, good Beasteals here. Even like just Baldrick, theoretically the worst one. Bad pack? Uh, I don't know. Yep. 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 Uh, Subter and Nemesis Archer. Okay, we got Heratic Dragon of Ronaldo. Hi, Joseph. Just some beast. feedback. The SMP Very bit, the ship name bit. Let's keep doing it. Oh, okay, okay. Here. All right, what else we got here? Majesty thanks, Pegasus. thanks, Rebecca. Rebecca's like, boy, this shit is not funny, dragon. but I can put it on the clip channel. Just love big dragons. Come on, give me some bestials. Win! The Wind Charmer. And Deep Sea Aria. We got Dragon Carnation. Adds back a banished dragon. Uh, Gorgon Egg here. And Seal of Reflection. This is a Omni Negate for tributing a Heratic. Not bad. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Kujikaju. Uh, bunch of trap cards. Not what I'm looking for. Come on, give me the Dragons. Ooh. Yeah, you know, this this, this, this set might be fucking debate, terrible. Honestly. We kind of tried to high roll this. Uh, this pack, uh, I'm starting to regret this, honestly. I think this might have been a debate here. I mean, look, who, Heratic Dragon. What of would Simo and like, uh, what are Joseph's cards, name be? Uh, Jank uh, and the Enthusiast, <laughs> Staple, though, for sure. Fairy Lily. And... Oh! oh! we got the Magnum. Targeting the... That's it. Pizza Hut delivery to your door. Joseph, right, we'll that's good. Yeah, that's good, it, too. It's out one. But we pulled the Magnum on. Okay, this is over. Buddy, I have, like, two Beasties out of 40 cards. Okay, relax. Second Branded Beast, that's good. Another third Tefnuit and Branded Befallen. I ain't reading all that. All right, come on. Give me some... I just need more dragons. I just need, like, more main deck dragon bodies. Gear breed. My face when I breed machine monsters. Spiral dragon. Gemini. Farfa, that's like really fucked up. Kids watch Master Saga. That's gross. Farfa, that's disgusting. You know what? Actually, Farfa is over a party. I can't believe Farfa would talk that sexually in front of an audience of primarily 11-year-olds. What the fuck? Hey, Supremacy, what is this one? Special's one from the hand. And the Banishment. Banishment's, Banishment's really good limited. And the Banisher card. All right. Pack number ocho. Ooh, Ultras. I'm digging this. Dragster211. Shouts go. out to Dragstar211 in ah. the comments. Everyone is ha-ing after he said me when I breed machines. And Dragstar went classic, huh, farming. <laughs> ah, that is not awful. All right. That's what people Zoo. say when they pull down my uh, pants Nepfet and they see and my mediocre on, wiener. Me, I just need more Nepfet Asset Sues, and we're good. We're good. Just give me all of the heretic engine here. Come on. And that's why Farf is canceled again. Why would he remind a primarily 10-year-old audience of that fact? Come on, come on. 
Uh, one shot wand. 800 attack. It's missing a zero. That's not what one shot means. Konami, that's not what that means. More like no shot. Roids! We could just pivot into... And that's what people say when they find out that... <laughs> you know, never Roids, mind. Right now, delete everything we pulled. No, we're not going to do that. Come on! I didn't pull any of the good heretics. Okay, a Dark Flare Dragon. Gone. That's funny. Come on, come on, come on. Sup, Ooh, got Ultra Thanks for the Please sub. Please be flub a double love line. Come on, baby. Flub a double love line. Let's do this. Let's do this. I'm going to make Gage shit. Oh! Uh, I mean, we can't... Despotter! Why is he upset about this? This card's crazy. This video unironically got demonetized. Oh, yeah. You got to tell people in their intros to not keep the chat in. Um. Damn. I don't know what tuners I have. Now, our our structure deck we I'm sure we have was some Synchro tuners. Unity, so, I mean, there has to be some kind of tuner that right. allows us to summon this. Because if we can get Peter Griffin online, then, you know. All right. So, these are our Peter packs Griffin. Here. Ultra rares. We got Magnum and Lads. Dish Potter, Honestly, you're going to call bad. Peter Griffin? What the fuck? Uh, let's see what we can put together in the main deck and uh, try and build something to uh, destroy Gaga. All right. There were a few oh. options. You know, I didn't realize that that really weird uh, level eight monster unlocked the. This Magic one could go really pack, well for the I'm boy. I'm not sure in episode one with no crafts if I can really go into a pack that has two different archetypes I want to make sure that we have an actual strategy today so <laughs> interesting let's zoom go there for harpies I think this is a great first round I don't pick. actually love family That's guy I just enjoy see. being racist thanks Farfa pack. Icarus attack is crazy all the supers are good the ultras are good we could pull harpies feather duster which would be crazy holy it's fuck Farfa I'm uh, opening okay, this pack's kind of bad the uh harpy synchro is a great hey, generic Farfa. synchro I used that in what fabled I use that in one of the seasons. I love how he Happy says Fable. All the heartbeat ladies. He just, it just comes out. Gold moon coin. Not sure about that one. Pack number three. Oh, Ultra. The Ultras are so fucking good. Elegant Egotist. Great pickup. Harpy, Harpy Dancer. Dancer incredible. Ha a second fantastic. Harpy Channeler. I mean, what that's we're great. really hoping for, of course, that's is the Synchro. The Synchro is so good. It's literally yeah, unbeatable. Rest is good. Oh, Icarus, Icarus is crazy. Feather Rest. Um, Prima Donna is a seven. We really need an eight. Royal oh. Rare Icarus! <laughs> oh! I'm sorry, I missed it! I missed the, the change! That's this guy cool. really That's isn't playing on his main! Buff. Think now, how cool I don't know if he could look in Edison! I don't new Master Duel accounts too much, but I think that the pulls you get. Oh, Watch Guy's pretty good. Uh, Swallow's Nuts pretty good too. I feel like the first couple sets of packs you buy, like in Master Duel, they really give you, like, you know, some pretty crazy. I agree. So, I literally agree. Fabled. That's Let's why I've been pulling do. bad Zapion. in, uh, Fantastic what's it called? Pickup. In roulette recently because my account uh, is too old proxy horse oracle's really oh important gosh, perfumer. perfumer is yeah, insanely I mean, really important good. i mean we still do need the synchro here. this card is actually probably or he's got to go 2-0 oh. ghost bird of bear witch is very good 2300 attack very monster, good so that's pretty good could play lightning rod too i don't know <laughs> stop them from using main phase one spells oh my gosh another rarity upgrade come on another one from the set bird face Oh, oh the my play God. set. We have no cards to go and do with this, by the, the way. We didn't pull set. a single extra deck monster. Okay. Come on, Come Phantasm on. Just... Spiral Dragon. Come all, on. All we need, Actually, all we need is the thing. Synchro. Burst or Burst? <gasps> oh, my God. I've never seen Performa Palmis Director. Oh, my God. She is adorable. That's the cutest fucking card I've ever seen. That's Jillian. Oh, well. Queen... Um, elegance. I think it's like a recycling card. Second ego tip, so by the cute. way. We're gonna have like a really aggressive no hunting round. Yeah, zero copies of hunting it's round. So cute. This pack's gonna have the synchro and hunting round. Bro is attracted it's to his wife. <laughs> all the ultras are good. Oh my god. Imagine the ultras are cyber slash crazy. Harpy's feather duster, insane. Feather storm, insane as well. It's not gonna be another channeler. No 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 no. No way. It's channeler, it's channeler, it's channeler, it's channeler, it's channeler, it's channeler, it's channeler. Blackwing Dragon, Synchro. Icarus Another Icarus. Oh! Duster! Duster episode one! This okay. card is getting big. He, this, is, this is really rough because his deck isn't better than the other people's decks, but he has to go 2-0. If he goes 2-0, he literally cannot lose because doesn't he craft the UR from this set? And in four episodes for sure, but we got Duster. We got it. <laughs> and this is kind of a heartbeat. It's a, no. you know, it's not a winged beast actually, but it looks like it could be. Pretty no, good it's first the old 10. way. All right, then no we're fucked. No hunting ground, which, you know, I mean, we only one queen, so I guess that's okay. I think we got some cards. I think we have a playable deck. YouTube! Not yet, though. 
this looks unreasonable. <laughs> like, like, this looks almost... We can't lose. Um, the only way we lose is if we don't find monsters, which actually seems pretty likely now that I'm looking at it. No, you know what? We have the three unexpected die. We can't lose. It's even unbeatable, I would say. This is crazy. This might be better than our Eldritch deck, Ross. This I is literally an MBT deck. That's how I know he's going to win. I thought our Eldritch deck in the Battle City was uh, probably the best thing I've ever What if he doesn't draw the thing about? This, repeatedly getting a vanilla token and then also searching some of the most broken trap cards that I can think of. Attack is crazy. Being able to just recycle the pacifist as soon as I get it up. And then the battle God, is also I'm, I miss playing Saga so much, too. but I actually Nuts. don't. Oh, also, this thing, by the way. The thing is, the better version of Saga is just roulette. I really think we have all the tools at our disposal to win. I think probably the MVP of the polling wasn't even the Fury of Curry Shins, which this is sick. It searches the Torrential Tribute, which I think was probably one of the all-stars. Just being able to I pull think this Torrential version Tribute of out of the basic pack is the completely most changes so far. everything. This is just generically one of the best cards we have in our collection at the moment. So having a reliable way to search it out, and it also synergizes with I miss with you playing Saga too. over Farfa coming back. I can't believe yeah, he actually also um, ended up I pulling don't. one of the uh, vanilla dragons. <laughs> I was dragon. begging I was to totally leave by the end of it. this card in general. I was like, they only play the field spell. We only need the field spell. But having one of this is massive and because you know, it allows I, us to play. Not, not to jerk off Farfa too much, but he has like the right energy for Saga. All the equips as well, because the equips bring out Phantasm Spiral Dragon from the deck or the graveyard, or the hand. So everyone wanted you dead on Saga. From Did you see the Twitter posts? They hated we me. We have the full-fledged pacifist deck at our fingertips. I really feel like we can't lose. I honestly, for the first five episodes, before we even get a band to think of, I really don't expect to drop a game. Neither Doug nor <laughs> Nadir, I think, can touch this strategy. As long as I you see you were the too good spell, at deck building was the problem. I, I really think it's that simple. Let's see what the other <laughs> That's boys true. built. That's literally Gotta true. Up to this. Tribute! Welcome back to. I think legitimately. Ball. This is what I came up with. Before you laugh, the way I, I acted the power on Saga was. All the good was... cards are high rarity. So this pack here doesn't have a lot of good cards. I think it was good, was but it really hut. did shape a lot there of people's Sarenir. public perception of there was me. A lot They're like, which yeah, he's really like this. And the rest is basically a bunch of structure deck cards backed up with a Because I was thinking engine. back, I was like, something. why do they think that I'm an asshole in all my collabs? And I'm like, oh my god, it's just Saga. I'm not feeling very confident right now. Like, I'm like normal in Jank, but it's like, no, Saga specifically. I was being such a fucking jerk. And he's going to join us right now to explain the strategy. Hey everyone, Peter Griffin here to explain the strategy here. We're going to trigger the... Farfa, that is the worst Peter Griffin I've ever heard. Are you kidding me? Jesus Christ. He's going to uh, join us right now to explain the strategy. Hey, everyone. Peter Griffin here to explain the strategy. That's Kermit the Frog. Uh, gee, I don't know. I just think that the Dragon of Chaos is a real problem for today's emasculated males. Someday we'll see it. The Rainbow Connection, Farfa, and Nim Nim, and Zeef, la 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 la. Here we're gonna trigger the effect of our heretic monsters to special summon a level eight Morgan egg from our deck here, combined with a level two Turner. That's with just not Adam what Spider Peter. It's 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 a really awful uh, win condition. <laughs> they, it's probably they got him. I'm sorry, but with enough. I would literally just scoop two games cards, and like leave. That was me actually. <laughs> fucked him up. Which banishes you a card up. our opponent controls to summon a Gorgon egg from the deck. I can't think of anything better. I made them and, put uh, it more in. powerful synergistically in the world of Yu-Gi-Oh than summoning the Gorgon egg. All right. Uh, you know what he sounds uh, like? He sounds like the Peter Griffin from the one episode where they do it like it's a Tracy Ullman skit. And they're talking about the cat. So long, puss. It'll sure be you were the best cat anyone ever had. Hey, Lois, why don't we go and get a dog? Hey, wait a minute. You already got a dog. But try I, not I watched too much to Family this. Guy funny moment. All right, here we are with Harpies. Now, I will say when I was building the deck, I realized that we actually missed a ton of Harpy cards, but this is what we have, and I basically put every Doug single is one like that we pulled Joseph into the deck. We have a lot only of put out powerful bangers. combos here, and I think for episode one, the this one does criticism look of my content good. that Our I think is 100% correct was people literally just do an unfunny bit and then just kind of have like a conga line of assholes. And then, yeah, it's we have funny. a lot of ways to take advantage of having a bunch of card advantage. We do have a list squad, which is like Icarus Attack at Home. 
Dome, but we also have actual Icarus attack. We also that, have Swallow's Mask, which I think is very important because it means we can draw, balls. like, you know, Toon Harpy Lady. We can swap like, that out for Channeler. By the way, we are playing Toon Harpy Lady. Doesn't do it is anything. summonable in this deck. It's pretty bad, but I found that when I didn't play it, I actually did oh, my not favorite have thing enough Doug does, Harpy Farfa, cards is to when he tweets something and then deletes Channeler. it. It's These the were best thing on the platform. These originally Birdman, but I think Toon Harpy Lady tests a bit better. Let's jump in the duels, though. Gage really hyped up his deck, so I'm a little bit worried, but let's see what's going on. Bum, 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 bum. Is Shall that Keycard theme? I think. All right, I'm ready I, to, to this go. Day, I'm ready to go. There's not Let's been a better one than Keycard theme. All right, Farfa. I'm Gaga. excited to see what you uh, debut with here for Season 5. I don't think it's going to come even close to that. He deletes DMs, deck. but I read them in the well, notifications Well, I'm going to keep anyway. it nice and simple here. I will, someday I'll wake and, up, and it'll be uh, like 5, it and it's like a Doug kind of what I need right convo, now. I and I click the Doug convo, and he's put nothing in it. Nice and slow. Other than exactly Gage's deck in Battle City, this is usually the power level of Episode 1 tech, so... I, yeah, that makes more sense. Okay, I see. I, I was thinking the that, but then spell. I remember some of the uh, week one decks we've had, and I was just comboing with Ritual Beast. It got like, way loud. That? Really yeah, that, that, that was a pretty crazy a one. That, oh, there we go. This one, a little bit more humble beginnings with the the season five. They start. must have filmed Set it on a different day. First move of the season. That's crazy. Um, I'll give you. You know what? I like your tempo, bro. I'm gonna set one. <laughs> I'm gonna set We're another. Fine. We're fine. We got a game on our hands. Let's go. Okay, sure. Okay. Hey, Gage, what's your uh, favorite brand of pasta strainer? My favorite brand of pasta strainer? Yeah. I don't know, like Kitchen Maid or something like that? Is that a You brand? seem like the kind of guy to have a supreme pasta strainer. <laughs> supreme? I don't... What is this bit? I thought he was... There's like maybe a, a pasta strainer band called like... Like Tefnuit or something. He was going to be like... Well, my favorite is Tef knew it, but he really doesn't know where he's going. He just started the bit and doesn't have an end goal in mind. I don't even think I've heard of that brand before. That'd be well, oh no, I've heard of Supreme Dumbest Fuck. <laughs> 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 All right, I'm gonna normal summon Lady of D. Excuse me. What? Oh Lady? my god! No fucking way! Oh my god! I know what pack this is. I just <laughs> went into. What the fuck, Doug? Doug sees a Lady of D and starts going. Oh my god, no. No way. No. To a roulette. Oh, um, no. Okay, that it's fine. That seems kind of annoying, but it's going to resolve. You're quivering in your know. boots to a Lady of D. Let's go. No, because I, I just, I think, if this is only in one secret. <laughs> New sub sound? Pack? It's a, I won't, I won't spoil it for Gage. I do that. But <laughs> I do that a lot. It's a good secret. <laughs> First blood of season but five. With, but Remember, with 10 packs, gentlemen. you know, and no craft, maybe that secret <laughs> pack isn't as overpowered as it was in real life. Who knows? Maybe we should have put up the memes tweet. I'll put what, up the what, memes what tweet. What is this in? Some kind of like uh, fucking blue saga eyes memes. pack or it's something up. like that? Seems yeah. like it'd be right at home there. <laughs> like any, yeah, it could be uh, any dragon. I, well, I just want to inform you that my Twitch chat is being very normal with the name of this card. So yeah, yeah, don't worry no, about that. probably. <laughs> oh, yeah, I bet. <laughs> You know, for a 65% landslide vote in Gage's favor, I'm I'm really uh, curious as to what the hell you're doing here, buddy. I, I'm setting up. Give me a turn He's or two. literally I setting up. <laughs> I'm setting up. Give me a turn. Go ahead. Lady of Damn. Yeah, I'll take it. He already you know, gave you a turn. We're, we're literally just not going to yeah. find the And here I was spell. hoping for a half-life point turn of uh, Redox Pass, but not really, uh, we're not just really up setting. to the challenge, I we're see. We're just setting. Not a good draw. Uh, five oh, cards. I'm just gonna today. go battle. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I'm gonna be okay taking 15 again. Ugh. Okay. Wow. <laughs> he doesn't want World a memory of adversary by is... Lady of D. World strong is Lady of D. I'll tell you. <laughs> all right. The this pop deck is gonna change my life. I swear. I actually think that all ladies of D are equally strong. What are you playing? Like, how have you bricked for this long? What Do are you something? playing? I got five all, in hand. All ladies are more powerful <laughs> well, uh, than anyone else. Turn, bro. <laughs> you, you know we legacy Van Delmich, Gage. It, it, it's all right. Take your time. Take your time. Take your time. He must be playing no deep draw salad. He's taking after you. <laughs> <laughs> We're just setting up. Setting up. Deep draw frogs, if you remember that deck. <laughs> <laughs> Too bad all the frogs banger, are stuck I in the uh, legacy pack. That is rough. I have cool cards in my hand. The problem is, like, they just don't really do anything without you doing something. Um... Don't say! No! Oh, <laughs> We're about to see Cobazol's theory here. Even you know? if we it's find the be... field spell, Here's we can't Heretic Dragon of a set. Okay, oh. yep. Yep. Okay. Now we're cooking. Is that we're what this up. is? 
So I, oh. I special summon Heratic Dragon of Oh, oh shit! Yes, 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 actually, crazy too. Now this pack no, doesn't no, have no, the no. best. I want the Ronaldo haircut. Normal. Dr Wait. I just loaded up Twitter. Rebecca has actually innovated further on the riff she was doing in chat 15 minutes ago. I Dragons see. in it. I think it only has the Gemini. Sometimes eight, I do appreciate. So there he is! Following the some ball. of the people who show up in chat, I get egg, to see the nascent bit workshop <laughs> in the, the playpen <laughs> of MBT better. chat have seals before That's being released be into the wider world of people Ooh, yeah. we're trying to impress. I will tribute so a Heratic cool. from oh, my hand to destroy a card. Off. Let's go! Okay, yeah. Is it this one? No, no, pick a different one. Come on. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was the should have hit the lady shit. of E. All right, we literally are losing. I'm We're gonna, losing. Uh, it's over. from my hand here. Another ball. What? Another Gorgon egg. <gasps> Double, Double ball! ball. Double eights oh on the field. God, uh, Fuck it, we ball. One there. of my friends was yeah. getting mad yeah. about you doing the okay, SMP you bit. Eight, what the fuck? What, what can you get two, mad uh, about there relative there to that bit? I'm guessing I have something better than a rank eight gauge. It's just so funny. Are we making two balls into one ball? The oh, defender, the of, that the defender of the labyrinth. That's not bad. They can add the ball back. <laughs> oh, we yeah, can even make really traffic ghost here. Lethal. Yeah. It's connecting. Let's go. Yeah. I mean, it turned two zero attack monster. This is actually. So much damage. Right. Oh my god. Gage, are you just dead? And four game, dead, bro. I, I attempt. No way. Attack for game, Ronaldo. Another I fantastic episode of Master one, Saga, <laughs> courtesy of the Phantasm be. Spiral Pack. No, you're showing. playing me. How many this people is your game against the Me. Me. Gage. No. Is this it? I won game winning card. I lost it. Dude, I didn't even get to make a play. What are you playing? Let me hit him. Let me hit him. Oh my god. Hold on, hold on. The deck that was unbeatable did not activate a single wait, card. Wait, 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 Doug. I said it was unbeatable per seeing the one card. I did not see that card. Sounds like a deck building issue. Alright, well, Nadir, let's go. Already this is peak. This is so peak. Letting me start sounds like you may have been uh going through a little bit of a tunnel right now. Um Come again? Wait! I just want to point out, Gage is super quiet for the back half of this one, and that's because he got so mad that he shouted, and it auto-pushed his microphone down to a more manageable level. Oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, we sometimes, like, <laughs> sometimes in one of these episodes, you show up, like, at the end, and one of the two people is, like, talking about at this volume. And it's clear that, like, it's because they got really mad 10 minutes ago. Never yeah. mind. We're good. We're good. We're good. <laughs> yeah. 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 No. no he got you. Well, it's, so it's just, yeah. I don't actually know. I think it is Vanya. That's Will of the Council. Yeah, the it is. Bundles, it literally so. is. Can we not just use the bundles because it's cheaper, but just don't use the free that's card? What I did. Yeah, yeah I that's bought, what Gage did. The well, the, for, for the Will oh, of the right. Council uh, experience, the way, you have you to have the anniversary the aircon going in the background. Let's activate. You got Master Saga staple. Oh, my God. On Damn, Gage would have loved that. Farfa, if you remember back to season one, I think we both shared this deck. I Harpy special lady. summon no, Harpy Lady. To I think all women are harpies. In a good way. The P.O.G. Okay. Harpy Lady, too. What a baddie. Back in he goes. Um. Okay, and then we'll go See, what a baddie? Elegant Egotist. Okay, oh, this is actually just over. Like, he's summoning <laughs> Slash Lady. I just lose. <laughs> Um, okay, yeah, it, that is true. If if there if I was summoning Slash Lady, that would be crazy. You are right. Okay, he, he didn't pull it. Um, he I'm gonna normal. Jesus, relax. Oh my, he's popping off. Harpy Oracle. Oh, we're just going in. Pendulum summoning. Can I like? I need like one good top deck here. All right, let's go battle. Die. How much damage is Wait, this? Wait, did you just? Did I just what? Uh, oh, nothing. I'm stupid now. Oh no, it's like a scar. It's like um, Bismagir, the Oracle of Ogre. Oh, yeah. Okay. Oh, it says during the end phase. I just totally didn't read the line. That was a cool way to describe it. It's like Skarm. Uh, Bismagir. No, it's... I appreciate that. Um, okay. 
I'm gonna activate you just an alluring, alluring mirror, mirror spirit. Split. It's such a Harpy Lady fucking assistors. annoying you card to have to deal with. Harpy from this is the most annoying ass card, card in the universe. It's Harpy Melson and Grace. Special summon it. That's fine. Value. Oh my god, That's the fucking value. Kenny counter trap is on. Yeah, that is value. All right. Doug is cooking. Um, pass. God, this thing just e tallies every time you destroy something. Yep. Yeah, it is only by battle, so it's not quite as good. There's like a Dogmatica card that's like insane. There's not a lot of ways to destroy things in episode one, you know? <laughs> yeah, true, true, true. Okay. Nice uh, balls, <laughs> dipshit. <laughs> Me when I pull down Farfa's pants. Nice balls, moron. What are these, your balls? Oh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> What's going on? Come over on, here? dude. Well, I'm sure you can think of one deck building issue with Heratic somewhere. Yeah, get right? your balls out of your hands, buddy. No, no. No one happening. has any fucking cards. Oh my god. Dude, we could be Harpy Lady, the OG Harpy Lady. What's going on? Um I don't know uh, how you lose from this juncture, Doug. I don't I, can't. I literally yeah, <laughs> all I've done is summon a tap. Okay, fair. Kunai. Defense Dude, yourself. Kunai. Literally no. lethal on board. Yeah. I mean, Kunai. anyways, we're still staring Spain down right lethal, now. But okay. 16? Yeah, I, that is exactly uh, 30. Pack of three hands. harpy yeah, ladies. Pull here. down your pants and <laughs> laugh at your balls. Harpy lady? All right, let me get some information here. Let me get some information. <laughs> what is this? Honestly. <laughs> oh my god, please. Dude, the deck building shit. issue is that he gets to trigger it. Level eight. <laughs> oh <laughs> my <laughs> god. Wait. Oh bring out the traffic ghost. Bring out the traffic ghost. Oh my god. Traffic ghost! Oh, no. that's about as humiliating. Right, I did as you a favor, Gage. So uh, now you know what he's doing. Uh, All right, now I, now I right Gage, oh you just gotta find <laughs> pacifist and go first. Bro, I, I just, I'm so scared. Like, I Looking just for two other harpy ladies and one man like with mid balls ass. to laugh with. Please DM me <laughs> details. Is, is really Danny bad. still in chat? Man, uh, I feel like my deck's drawing like insane hands. <laughs> for okay. no right. particular reason. This is reason. the greatest hand um, okay. you could possibly draw. Let's normal summon channel. I mean, oh, I, I'm not like mad about it, but let's like, activate God. channel. Yes, three <laughs> channelers. That's the ultra. No I guess this the is what I unlocked to uh, go into the Like, he would want to get the perfumer here. This is where he goes, summon pet dragon, make Draco sack. Let's oh go dancer. I'll bounce back. Oh, the God. Channeler. And I it's will It's so funny that if he had Cyber Slash, perfumer. he would literally not be able to Activity lose the game. Bruh, he's got, like, this deck, is, this deck is really uh, good. It just, it just sets up <laughs> this. It's just, I don't have we Cyber Slash. We can't beat a mirror lady. split. Um, oh, he doesn't have the most broken ball small turn duelings for, like, three years. Yeah, do that card. Oh, boy. <laughs> Too good for doing. Oh my right. god! Um, that's my I played Go so much of that deck. That's still my right, farm deck to this day. Uh, nice okay, deck, dumbass. Oh, what is dog card? Like, what is this yeah? Dark card? <laughs> like, no, what? I'll, I'll tell you what. If you're a good little boy and patient, I'll tell you afterwards. What the <laughs> okay, card okay. This is such a horny series. Oh my god! Okay, okay. I'm I not lose, helping. Bro, when I, when I all my dignity <laughs> oh, stripped from me. Um, no, Gage, you gotta activate a card this episode. I believe this is. I, 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 okay, I will. I will absolutely flip a card or play a card this this, this episode. Bro. Gage flips okay. one card. This worked so well last time. Oh I'm my god, dude! <laughs> <laughs> this episode is just Doug's harpy deck. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. Oh, main deck I mean, so okay. Attack. If we go unexpected die, we do have power and the pop trap on and theoretically he can't get over any of our monsters for 15 every turn <laughs> oh, three oh four, four back row wow. okay the in uh, but if he doesn't activate unexpected die we're just going to get killed here right i guess he's like i can survive a turn if i draw pacifist this is a way to trigger it infamous gauge bro. opening All one right, time be, duster I, come beef, on be one scared duster. bro i have oh. be scared okay, honestly right, 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 right. Really pretending any of these do something, huh? Alright, what is the... I'm checking out your rarities. What rarities hunting ground? That's a rare. such a fucking okay. bait pack man, field gonna, or lose. Yeah, People want to play it because it has all the good and cards from Pacifist, but they forget cool. that that archetype is super um, aided by, like, Crosby huh? and Terraforming right. I, I, and... You gotta stop for this? Pathfinder. I guess it's time to start playing cards, right? Right. I kind of have to. So yes, let's, let's take a please, look. So I'll... I'll I'll flip my first card of Master Saga Season 5. 
Well, 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 I think the pack oh, is good to go into because a small pacifist you engine and torrential turns <laughs> improves almost oh, every no. single deck. I swear uh, to God, but, dude. Um, yeah, not bad, Gage. Not bad. You know, it is definitely it's not its own right. strategy. I still know you have that channeler in hand, and uh, that's a good Yu-Gi-Oh card. From yeah, what I let's remember, go so. for God, we have feather, feather rest. We can just feather rest to kill him. Ooh, feather rest, damn. Act they have like a full charge, by the way. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they do. No, I. Uh, we'll see. We'll see what's in my deck. We'll see what's in the. All right. Oh, that was that was interesting. Just a terrible torrential, apparently. He just drew some cards. Uh, I think it was all right, all things considered. Yeah, I mean, you hit two cards off the board. That's pretty strong. Doug's just playing the game, I guess. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> I drew the fucking <laughs> nice. <laughs> I could have held it probably for this um, channel. Yeah, we'll go for this anyway, one. Here's, here's You're so dead. dead. We're so fucked. Let's go or Why don't cool. you have any seriouses with Gage? Uh, He's no so pet fun. Dragon? I didn't know he was open right. to it. This is like the first 14. series we, that's can not. Can we engage like team on. up? Somehow? You are. I'll you literally are, have together. both played me today. <laughs> jelly cannon. You. <laughs> I mean that's the jelly cannon. Oh boy. He knows. Oh, one time jelly. pacifist. We can get out of this. I mean, we still don't know what deck you're playing. Gage. You should do a all series just, like, with Danny. That's actually a that's really a good point. Completely fair, honestly. Okay, I'll put back the channeler. Actually, I chain swallows nest. Oh my god, bro. Oh my god, we're getting nested. Um. Yeah. What am I going to get? Whatever, we're just going for this one, I guess. Sure. 16. I'm gonna have to take it. All right. Draw Go the ahead. card. Draw the card, please. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you built a deck. It's around, around one like card. One guy. <laughs> I, I, like, if, if you saw the deck, you would understand. <laughs> That's kind of. The way I, it's I'm feel. waiting. I'm. I'm. Okay. What could you? I don't okay. Know. I mean, we have to die here. We have to die. We don't have an option. We get to clear the entire field. All right. Wait, does he I'm still have mirror play. split? He does. God damn it. Smashing ground. Okay, we still have only seen structured deck cards. Y yeah, yeah. I, I, well, I Trenchel is in <laughs> a couple <laughs> secret packs, I think, actually. So that could be, right, that I'm could be a hint. The that could be a hint. There. And then I'm going to activate we're going. Saga Staple, Unexpected Die. Oh, my no, God. Okay, we're playing a game. Okay, this I'm could be... Summon... Is this for Meglo Smasher? No, it's playing... for Beckoned of the Anything World thing that isn't the okay. Beckoned of the... We, we are this still. <laughs> okay, we started to win this. We have to use the spiral hey, trap to Open pop the alluring pack. mirror split, but we can here's, still. Okay, here's, listen, listen. No, he's about here's, to cook. <laughs> here's did you the spend reason. Any gems this week? Yes, yes, I did. Here's the reason I had to build around one card. I have not seen such card yet, but yeah, one day. One I of know. these days. I'm gonna flip. Phantasm spiral. Yeah, spiral. yeah. Okay. I figured it was the this. Steel this stuff. pack yeah. has been a trap for people in Saga before. It's it's a little. It can seem people, overpowered. Me. But He's if talking you don't about draw me. That field spell. Yeah, not I'm, as good. I'm really feeling the stupid morons fall for this one all Let's the time. Let's hit this with a memory. No, don't take my memory. Memory. I gotta. That turns vanilla. off every other card in the hand. <laughs> my vanilla now. This is a disaster. All right. <laughs> oh, my oh that's god. so good. Oh my god. <laughs> that's so good. Um, no, that actually doesn't really help us right there. here. Um, let's go. Uh, like let's, let's, hope. Now. let's hope. Let's hope. <laughs> Bro's playing deep draw harpy, and it's kind of working. I'm not going to lie. Let's go. Oh, we over. put it back. It's We're over. crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> Come on. My uh, only I'm really happy he didn't pull the synchro because this would one? be yeah, unbeatable. Okay. Let's summon this guy. Hit you for twenty five. I mean, I'm not. I'm just attack. It's just attacks. It's I haven't. I haven't summoned extra monsters. I'm being oh, we fair. Are. It's just attacks. Um, gonna yeah. love like Doug justifying like playing the best deck. Listen, it's yeah, just just yeah. the bottle phase. I, yeah, I really for, like, in the profile. I, mean, I thought this to was a like thirteen hundred vanilla. Rough. Okay, like, I mean, you guys can see the let's list. Let's be reasonable here. I, I, I really just this is not a the that strong of a strategy. Um, We'll see. Okay, well, because we elected to not pop that alluring, alluring mirror, mirror split, split makes everything hey, a mystic tomato. That's kind of actually Gage, tough. Is that close we can't to, beat that. Uh, we literally another can't beat that. I'm gonna activate another unexpected die. All right, oh, not as no. unexpected this time around. Dude. Go for it. Is this a different one? Or? Nope. With it up. <laughs> oh my god! Yeah, just another like one. Attack and pass. Of them. <laughs> I play three of them. Would you believe oh, that? Oh shit! Let's go. I don't even want to attack your. Oh, well, it's a vanilla. Though. It makes sense. Hold on. Hold on. Yeah, okay. Makes sense. It's a vanilla. I get it now. I remember my first local turban I went to. We set uh, the trap card for sure. I played three. Uh, well, actually, it was or just one. It was just don't. one agent structure <laughs> no. deck versus. Uh, See if you forgot about Dragon memory. Rulers and, you did know, it get there? Gage, uh, I oh. did win one game. So. Everybody has their one, right you know? know? I did not win one game this episode, though. So. <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> All right, let's, doing better, let's doing worse than it is over, over. Crazy. 
Wow. <laughs> it, is, it is over, over. Oh, dude. My, it has zero defense. <laughs> it could not have less defense. No. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> As, I guess, bullying, dude. Zero is the what I is this? This keeps me alive. Freaking powder, powder. Phantasm spiral power. It negates and reduces by a thousand. Oh, oh my oh, god, wow. there's only Wait, one effect turn? monster. Two. That's kind of rude. 33, man. wow, okay. Mama yeah, alive? unfortunately, I can just do this. No, you can't. Oh, wait, what? It <laughs> negates the effect? It <laughs> also, its <laughs> effects are negated. This isn't a cost to bounce? Uh, nice try, Doug. Target one wing oh, not a cost to bounce. Not Doug, out here trying to play Harpy Dance or Swap Frog. Yeah, it, I didn't realize it's not a, it's not Swap Frog. It is, it is, in fact, part of the effect. Okay. Um, we have a four that kills him, though, right? Don't we have, like, yeah. Magician of Hope or something? I That's summon yeah. the magician oh of dragon. hope. Oh, come on. You, how are you not going to summon Kachi Kochi Dragon? What <laughs> the hell is that? I don't even know. I, 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 what the, the ever fuck happened this no. episode? I'm so I sorry, Gage. This is the okay, I gotta see I the classic you pacifist. I got to see Gage's deck first. I got to see. I, got, I can't. What is going on? Here? Look at it. Look at it. It looks unbelievable like how me talking about my penis before uh, the harpy oh wait, ladies come up and make fun of my balls okay so you have two field spell that is rough that is unfortunate um yeah i mean i, I think like... you're right i think if you drew that field spell you're fucking crazy the two yeah. torrential two torrential searcher is terrifying for the rest of the episodes but Ooh, we'll see how it goes <laughs> Even one, I played it pretty par. I had these parallel twisters in my hand, and I could have like God, popped I... your dudes. But like, they look so non-threatening. Like a lady <laughs> of D, bro. I. Am I scared of the lady, lady of D, baby? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle, lady D overpowered. Right? Wasn't that it? Oh yeah, it's battle or something. Never mind. Yeah. So I was. I, I just kind of like let myself get punched in the face like <laughs> eight <laughs> times against the deer. <laughs> And I was like, yeah, try. Uh, oh, let me see. Doug. Okay, let's see what uh, let's see what Nadir is rocking with. So, which bestial do you have? I don't know if Gage realizes this is the bestial. Ah! Okay. Uh, oh God. Okay. Oh my God, bro! Look at me. Wait. Episode one, Exiton Knight. Hold on. Hold on. Oh my God! I just saw the Exiton Knight. I don't know how I beat it's, this. You just bricked. It's so weird. Well, that's how like, you it's, beat it's, it. It's, uh, I got the X ton in the pack. So I'm like, shit, well, I can't swap over to like a level four strategy. So, oh, uh, man. No lads here as well. But yeah, the problem with Heraxx is you just draw these fucking balls that like don't do anything. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not pull any um, seals? No, 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 no. Fuck, dude. <laughs> like, Thank God. God. This, yeah, I got this powder, but uh, that's why I put in this random shitty trigger. Like, I was about to say, you yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah, egg was 10. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay. You guys can see my deck list. And what you'll notice is that I only have. Okay, first, I know I'm complaining as I went too. I'm missing most of the Harpy cards. And also, I only have like one of all the cards you guys saw. I have one dancer, one perfumer, one oracle. Uh, it's just that I, I pulled three okay. channelers. But, yeah, uh, yeah. I, I, that's ultra. Oh my, you pulled three channelers. I also have two Icarus, one Royal Rare. That's pretty cool. Um, but... <laughs> Bro, there's a duster in here. I just noticed. Don't, don't, don't notice a duster. Don't look at that one. But oh yeah, I mean, the, the weird part about this one is you didn't have the synchro, Wait, but it didn't matter for episode pack? one. It is, yeah, yeah. yeah it's it fact. It that's kind of that's kind of tough. How many ultra did you pull? One, two, three, four. Four, yeah. And they're all good ones. <laughs> yeah, no, I just missed out on the, uh, a lot of the really good supers, but I, I can't complain. No, I think for episode one this was pretty strong. I was just like worried about your guys' decks really, but um, GGs. See you guys next episode. This fucks. I don't think it's gonna come even close to the deck that I queued up, bro. <laughs> I've been talking so much shit. Yeah, I'm I need to. Completely... I need oh, to read this no. message for the people. Gage sent us a message the other night that was like, <laughs> "I'm also I'm accepting concessions if you guys want to give me the win early. <laughs> My deck is unbeatable." Oh, talk shit to get bodied full combo. Oh my god. Oh, I um. I love this. I I love I love this three way. I love this three way. I you know, I steal a lot from Doug. I'm happy that Doug is stealing the playoffs formula from me. <laughs> the trick though is you got to keep the brothers knocks out of there. Oh man, that was so cool. That was it was so much fun. Fuck. And they have a good rhythm to the way that they talk. They have like a good rhythm in it. Man, really, really love it. I don't know. I've talked with Doug about this a lot. And the thing is like roulette kind of builds itself. But Master Saga is like an amalgamation of every existing Yu-Gi-Oh series. And it feels like every season we just hone in more on the version of Master Saga that works specifically for Master Duel and all of its weird idiosyncrasies. And this first episode is like, oh, we're so close. We're so close. It was really enjoyable. 
Yeah, I think Rebecca's right. Next step is we got to, like, start building storylines. I need the Master Saga Dojin. Who are you? Who are you shipping? Be honest. DNI if you're a if you're a Gage uh, Doug shipper. Oh, we actually do have some memes in the memes thread. Saga memes episode one. Doug is my favorite Yugi tuber today. Calling all besties. This is audio. This is a fucking Luke Correa shit post. Calling all besties. <laughs> I don't watch Saga. Have you seen twitch.tv slash Luke Von Karma? No, no. Stay away from De Voodoo Man. Gage's plays this week. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Stupid! You're so stupid! <laughs> Next up, Nim Nim. Surely I'll get the field spell. His draws. What your balls see. <laughs> what you balls say. Soup! That's good. That's good. Good stuff. Wow. You got the straining gauge here. Happy Saga Wednesday! Very true. People do this for DSMP people, right? Yes! Give us the blingies with, like, Doug and Gage looking at each other. You still need to draw the field spell. Tip number 16. A legendary ocean is a field spell with a unique effect. <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. Ugh. These were, these were good. A, a good introduction. I'm very excited for the next season of Saga. Is it going to clear Duelist Mansion? You know, time will tell. For now, I'm going to say no. Okay, quick reminder. Um, we are doing the Twitter thread. If you want your thing in, you know, put it there. Uh, now we are going to, and I'm so sorry, play Yu-Gi-Oh! We are going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! We are going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! We are going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! Going to play Yu-Gi-Oh! And if you don't believe me, you better watch out because the stream's getting greasy. <laughs> I'm just saying shit. I'm just talking, man. I'm just yapping. <laughs> I'm just yapping out here. What the fuck? Where's Master Duel? Where's Master Duel? wrong what the fuck it's not working it's literally like don't play holy fuck please do not play this This is weird. Why? 
Let's just try reloading Master Duel, maybe. Yeah, that worked. Well, chat, we're here again doing everybody's favorite thing. <sighs> Playing Master Duel. Okay, so what is Theme Chronicle, you may be wondering? Well, it allows you to... I don't... Well, I actually don't know. Exclusive rules that promote cards from the archetypes in solo mode scenarios such as Monarch, Element Saber, and, uh, what is this? Dino Mist? I don't know. What solo mode deck am I supposed to play? Don't play solo mode decks, but isn't that the point of it? What the fuck? <sighs> they handed us a crawler list that is Deus Ex Turbo. Yeah, fuck it, I'll play this. And looks killer. Yeah, nice deck, dumbass. All right. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's over. Are they on crawler? That was wrong. Activate dendrite. What they're thinking here. They're like, do we ash the dendrite? Hardly. We're gonna mill. What the hell do we mill? Oh, this guy's pretty good. kind of strange actually
Well, this called by is going to go crazy. Hello. What's up? Put clean sheets on the bed? Yeah. Ah, well. My bad. I'm sorry. She says it's alright, but I bet it's not. Oh, I thought that was it. You didn't seem to put pillowcases on the sheets the last time I told you to put sheets on the bed. There weren't pillowcases. <laughs> there weren't. <sighs> I've been working all day. That was wrong. Shame on you. He's in the doghouse. That's true. Hmm. No, come on. Wait, you lightning stormed for that? That's nothing. Okay, we can still do this. Oh, Soma. Okay, now we win. Um, I mean, we win for a number of reasons. First, we go liberal the world keyblade master. We set succession. Succession effect. Grab deus ex. Soma. Oh. Flip down Deus Ex. Reduce him. Special these two. Oh, we got to make a three here, right? We can go Ausa. Lib effect. Shuffle this. Ausa grab Mizuki. Mizuker. Oh, yes. Wow, I can't believe we were allowed to do all that. All right, I got another one in me. It's weird that this is one of the loners. This seems like a crazy strong deck. Yeah, I was really into this deck back when it was like legal, but uh, these days just making Deus Ex doesn't really cut, or cut it. Back in the day, the plan was you would also uh, make VFD and uh, well, that's not available anymore. Oh, all right, this is interesting. What can we do with Resonance Insect? Level 5 or higher insect monster to your hand. Oh, this is crazy, right? So we go activate World Legacy and Secrets. Maxi, huh? Well, I've got terrible news to you as to what my hand includes. Get that fucking guy out of here. Uh, who do we want less? Probably Gleal. Uh-oh. Wait, did I just misread it? Oh, it doesn't matter. My opponent has scooped. Whew! Easy. Man, we just gotta keep this up. 
We literally, by the way, I want to point out, we lost 400 viewers once we started playing Yu-Gi-Oh. It's crazy. People do not want to see Yu-Gi-Oh. You're like, please, no Yu-Gi-Oh! Too bad. We're crawling. Oh, God. Ooh-wee, it's trying. Come on. I believe in you. Chug-a-lug. I'm going to call up the Baltimore chug a -lugans. God damn it. They were like, Joseph want to die roll? Absolutely not. Waltz? Oh, God. Are people queuing into me? <laughs> this hand's unbelievable. Oh, it's Survivor. I thought it was uh, the field spell. Survivor could go really good for us. Or it could not. Oh, Pons is crazy. Well, shit. I wouldn't have summoned him in attack. Go Pico. Norogos. Uh oh. I guess we should have played around the mech knights. Oh, you fool. You absolute monstrosity. You bumbler. Why don't you put back my Norogos? Uh-oh. Wait. Last time I played this card, the hidden information ruling was different. It used to be if you bounced a link, that effect would trigger. Mm. Ends crazy. It's unbelievable. Ah. Oh. Right, I'm going to take a little rest while this goes on. You all just let me know if I miss anything. Let me go put cheats on the bed.
What? Ten seconds too late. No. How did I lose that? Uh, okay, this time I got it. It's the same deck. It's the exact same deck. people play this game legitimately how do people play this game how do people willingly load into a client in which called by is a two? Oh my god all, all this oh my god i'm sorry Yu-Gi-Oh, man. Yu-Gi-Oh's fine, but Master Duel. Oh, my God. I'm going to get swole while I'm waiting. Ooh. Yeah. Oh. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, okay, let's do these. Yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a All right, we're just we're just doing orcist. All this, if you want to do orcist. Hmm.
Okay. Finally, we get to play Yu-Gi-Oh. Uh, okay, how do we want to do this? Well, if we normal the Dendroid, we can threaten the IP Mask Arena, which is something. Cool. Yeah, awesome. Another banger opener. Sirocco. Uh, uh oh. I guess I probably have to Ash Blossom this because otherwise they're going to find um, the 1400 that wins the game in the. Uh, on the spot. All right. I can see that a lot of people are having a lot of fun with this theme chronicle. Pretty much everyone is uh, excited to play uh, Yu-Gi-Oh right now. Okay. My boy Jeff. All right, my boy Jeff. Two hand traps. That's pretty good. <laughs> I love Theme Chronicle. I normal summon Alistair. Plunder. Plunder. Oh my god, white beard. Yayo, yeah, yayo, yeah, dreaming. Don't give it up, Luffy. Dreamin'. Don't give it up, Yuffie. Dreamin'. Don't give it up, Bluffy. Give it up, give it up, give it up. He's made of leather. How did that happen? Yo ho ho, he took a bite of gum gum. Yayo, yo, ya, yo. Dreamin'. Don't give it up, Blackbeard. Dreamin'. Don't give it up, Whitebeard. Are you watching Four Kids One Piece? Yeah, that's that's where it came out, right? Yord. Chat says, yeah. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not watching the four kids one piece. I've been watching the Netflix one. I think it's like the definitive edition of one piece. Nice. 
Nah, I'm kidding. I'm I I I've been um I've been watching the fight scenes on YouTube. <laughs> True. Who was I? I think it was Danny. I was talking to Danny and he was telling me about he went to some party where someone was talking about One Piece. He was like, oh, I like One Piece. And they were like, oh, yeah, I don't really like it. He's like, you don't like it? Oh, man, I like it a lot. And they're like, well, to be honest, I just really watched the fight scenes on YouTube. It was like, well, that's that's not. <laughs> Then you're not. <laughs> oh, if that's if that's imperm, I just lose here. Correct way to watch that slop, to be honest. Oh, that's true. This is so lame. C please stop taking 45 minutes to decide here. Chat, what's the most fight scene anime there is? Like, you only watch it in order to watch the fight scenes online. Dragon Ball Z. Okay, hard mode. You can't say Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> Okay, I can't beat this. A lot of JJK people here. I think I think Demon Slayer is it, right? Okay, how about this? What is the worst anime that you can only fight scene watch? Uh, JJK again. <laughs> As in, like, if you watched the fight scenes only, you would come away with, like, the worst understanding of the anime possible. No refunds. All right, another classic victory. Pokemon? Oh, for sure. Still JJ, or er, <laughs> still JJK. Baki, a lot of Baki. Maybe like Evangelion. I'm just imagining someone Googling like, oh man, I have to watch the Raviel fight. That shit is tight. You guys seen this? It pulls up like the... <laughs> right? Oh my, see, it's like uh, the light goes in her head. Oh, it's crazy. Madoka Magica? No, Madoka Magica fight scenes only goes crazy. Some, some days you wake up and it's just a HTTP colon slash slash www.youtube.com Homura versus Walpurgis knock 4K Blu-ray HD kind of day. Man, if we had gone first, this hand would have been crazy. MBT knows about Madoka. Are you kidding me? I had a lot of fun watching Madoka. Unfortunately, my opinion on Madoka is pr it will probably get me canceled. You guys don't want to hear it. You don't want to hear the take. All right. I will I will reveal to you the take. It is. Okay. It's pretty good. That's the take. It's pretty good. Don't scald yourself on it. True. I think that a lot of people that pretend it's like, it's a huge subversion and deconstruction of the genre, I think are giving it way too much credit. 
I think it's pretty good. You're just saying that because you think Homestuck is the better version? No, what's the better version of Madoka Magica? I don't know if there is a better version. It's not a very... It's not a very subversive premise, I will say. That's... Just don't think it's, uh... That's shocking. Okay, we're gonna lose now it's because they can just negate our soma some of these nuts we don't have uh the one link in here no we don't have you won a single game yeah we've won like seven <laughs> Have you watched Dungeon Meshi like you said you would? Yeah. I'm only one episode in. So, you know. I've only watched one episode. <laughs> but, uh, I think it's okay. The thing about Dungeon Meshi is, I'm in the one episode, I'm like, hmm. This is a fetish anime. <laughs> It, you know what? You know what I have thought the entire time I'm watching. Every single, every single second that I watch it, I go, "Wow, how, Studio Ghibli food looks so fucking good, man! How do they make? How do they make the Studio Ghibli food look so good?" <laughs> That's what I think the entire time. I'm waiting to find the the Latinx tacos guy. <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. God damn it. Did you try Fryrin? No, I haven't. I, I will. I am making... I'm going to make an effort to watch all these terrible anime that you all recommend me. Peeps is actually the one who's trying to get me to watch Fryrin. Ugh. Oh, shit. We're about to get owned. Did you watch Code Gay Ass? <laughs> as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> I don't expect good opinions from the Homestuck guy. What, opinions like, I haven't watched this yet? <laughs> you should watch Rena Girlfriend. Yeah, I think that looks pretty good. I think I think Rena Girlfriend looks pretty good. I'll watch that and that's it. Oh. But well before I watch Rena Girlfriend, I do have to ask, is it like There's like cucking in it, right? Because I'm not going to watch an anime that doesn't have cucking in it. Oh, thank God. Okay. Whew. <laughs> Just like, I'm like a one, I'm a, I'm a single issue voter. <laughs> uh, what? Wait, it wasn't in the column. What the fuck? Why was that allowed to happen?
All right, let me ask you this, chat, because everyone always recommends me shit to watch, and then the next season rolls around, and it turns out all that shit was garbage. So let me ask you some important questions. What is the most overrated anime from last season? JJK. Okay, but everyone told me to watch JJK when I asked this last season. So now you expect me to take your advice now. It's not like... here. That's the problem, chat. Oh. What else was overrated from last season? Spy X Family? Nah, come on. Sorry, I'm not. Attack on Titan final season. Did you all enjoy the Attack on Titan final season? That's the actual cucking one, right? Oh, gee, I wonder what my opponent has. It could be literally anything. <laughs> awesome. Haven't they done three final seasons at this point? Ah, uh, you're confusing Attack on Titan the final season with Attack on Titan the end of the final season part one of 80. He's not actually going to watch anything. I've literally been watching these dog shit shows for babies that you all keep recommending. I've been making an effort to. Goblin Slayer got a season two last season. God, do you remember when everyone was pretending to like Goblin Slayer? Why were we doing that? I say we here. <laughs> I wasn't fucking doing that. Why were you all doing that? Why were you pretending that <laughs> Goblin Slayer was watchable? No, man. It's it's like, you don't understand. It's like, it's not like, so like, well, you don't get it. Like, so in the, so like, the concept is he's like really angry at goblins. Oh, fuck, man. That's crazy. Wait. Are you, wait, are you for real? That's like nuts. No, yeah, you don't get it, dude. He goes beast mode. Oh, fuck. I gotta watch that shit. <laughs> Goblin Slayer is if, like, John Wick was a bad anime. <laughs> That's a great... <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> Alright, sure, whatever. It's in a nice and harmless story. What did it even do for you? I hate heterosexuals. That's why. Oh, Rebecca. You're like um, that one Office GIF. That's the anime you all should watch is The Office. You were th caught throwing rocks at couples. Shield Hero. That's another one. Everyone said watch Shield Hero. And I didn't watch it. And then it was mid. Literally call me a slur instead. Well, calling you an office character is, is kind of worse, right? All right. 
Let me ask you this. I think you all aren't understanding my important questions for you. Why don't you tell me, rather than which animes are good and bad, I want you to just fire off over the last 10 years the absolute slop. So what are the sloppest animes anime that have been you have seen over the last number of years? <laughs> to everyone on JJK again. Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> True. Any of the Fooly Cooly sequels? Come on, man. Haven't we suffered enough? I do still have to watch Grunge. If Grunge is good, I'll take it all back. It's bad. <laughs> Fuck, come on. Oh, Gold Pride. You know it won't be good, but I have to... <laughs> it's the Plinket thing. But you have to go see it to find out how. All right, I'm going to ask you I'm going to ask you another question that you will be unable to answer. How is the state of television? If I wanted to watch a TV show, what TV show should I watch? The Bear? Actually getting the Bear a number of times. Is the Bear good? I'll watch the Bear. Is the Ted TV show any good? <laughs> Wait, no. <laughs> Percy Jackson. Jillian has been watching Percy Jackson with me. It's fine, but I didn't grow up with Percy Jackson. I don't really have too much of an attachment to it. See, I want to watch The Curse, but I feel like I would just get very uncomfortable the whole time. What are those quiz shows you watch with Jillian? Jeopardy? Teen Titans Go, yeah. Doctor Who. I've been spurned so many times on Doctor Who. I don't know how many times I can do it. I feel like we haven't gotten the combo off once. You're American, you should watch Reacher. Enough of this.
Quacky Ducky, eh? Soma's such a good card, but it really complicates playing this card in particular because it means you're always going to have a guy to throw face up that doesn't proc. Play Genshin Impact? Great idea, actually. That's actually a really good idea. Hold up. That's actually like a really good idea. Holy fuck. Wait, hold up. That's like a really good idea. <laughs> VIP that chatter? Yeah, for sure. That's an easy VIP for me. I am never going to get to summon Deus Ex. Let's do the Twitter thread. Poor Jules. We may just not give her that one. We may say, Jules, don't worry about it.
All right. Three, two, one. Hey, everybody. Joseph Rothschild here, a.k.a. MBT, and we are back with another Twitter thread. Today, I'm asking you about strict upgrades. Frequently, Yu-Gi-Oh! has iconic cards that end up in every single deck, period, for a couple of months. And then they print a card that is so much better than that card that it disappears entirely from the entire ecosystem. Uh, mm. So today, I'm asking you which of these you remember. And I'm going to begin with Borolode Dragon. This card was, I think, like $75 for a short period of time. It was in every single extra deck, the most powerful four link you could make, and then they released Boral Sword. You don't even see this guy anymore. Now it's all access code. Let's see what you all came up with. First up, I still run my guy Borolode. <laughs> Thank you... <laughs> Sitting Congressman Maxwell Alejandro Frost. <laughs> uh. Dyer says, goodbye, my majestic yellow steed. God, Nightmare Unicorn. It was so iconic to go Mascarena into Unicorn that they printed a unicorn with Mascarena on it. Now she just goes into her girlfriend. When did Mascarena go woke? When did this become more attractive than this? Did I say Ib? It's Ibly on Unicorn. Wait, it is Ibly? Wait, it's th this is Ibly on Unicorn? Oh, shit. Well, sorry. All white women look the same to me. Konami literally made a biopic on this card's fall from relevance. Relevance. Konami literally made a biopic on this card's fall from relevance. Okay, like this is a good answer, but also not what I asked. As is this. Solemn Scolding, says I Wish I Was Dead, was run for a very specific period of time, and then they just printed Solemn Strike. God, who remembers playing Solemn Scolding in Pendulum decks? Well, there it is. Extremely upsetting. This card isn't anywhere anymore. Oh, <laughs> and the follow-up, Solemn Strike. <laughs> oh, man. We played a lot of Wee Witch's Apprentice. Does anyone remember Normal Summoning Tour Guide to get Sangan to go into Wee Witch's Apprentice? A classic Trinity play. And then Dark the Dark Charmer Gloomy. As soon as the Charmer links came out for each individual attribute, it was over for these boys. But we played almost all of the attribute links. It was like Hippo Shinigan, Miss Starboy was everywhere, Mrs. Radiant for Zoo. Great Fly never really saw play, but... Another card specifically destroyed by Solemn Strike. Solemn Strike, I think, is maybe the number one culprit of Strictly Better. I don't think this is even true. I saw someone here talking about MST, and I just wanted to post this as I was at a local the other day. Was watching the final table play out with Valence player versus Snake Eyes Fire King, and game three, the Valence dropped these. Cosmic and MST. Uh, there was such a brief period of time when people were considering MST again during Sky Striker format in which you could use it to pop your own cards and get you to the three limit to hit a sick end gauge, but Cosmic is just so much better. An extreme call here, says the Law Yu-Gi-Oh!, but a really good one. With the release of SDY and SDK Lodgin was the end all best monster you can play. 1800 attack on a no tribute summon. In the champion pack soon after... The Mechanical Chaser showed up. 50 attack difference, but boy, did it matter. Now, thankfully, you weren't likely to see this card because it was about $400 at the time. Hasher Brown has a fantastic one. Oh, Secure Gardena. This used to be an incredibly playable card. You would go Normal Summon Alistair into the one, the only Salamander Great Almirage. 
Well, you weren't even doing that, were you? Yeah, you were. Into Secure Garden. That's a light, so then you can easily make a copy of Macaba. However, as soon as Artemis was released, it became clear that one extra deck slot is fewer than two. Mm. Pot of Greed has not seen play since Cup of Ace came out. That is true, Trash Jesus. Uh, even though, of course, Pot of Greed is the more economical card, as for Cup of Ace to function as Pot of Greed, you have to pay $5 a month to Luke Von Karma. And he says just all of the MST retrains, Galaxy Cyclone, Twin Twister, Cosmic... We get a new one every two years, and when one appears, every other one gets blown away. Just a big cyclone circle jerk of cards, side deck mainstayed for one year and unplayable the next. Uh, there have been formats where this card is really good. This is actually not a bad one. Almost the entirety of the Rank 4 toolbox. There was a time when rogue decks would just slot in Rank 4s. Uh, but since the archetype philosophy and the creation of generic links, the nightmares have led to their extinction. It does feel like we see almost none of these cards in a world where you could just be playing a nightmare. <laughs> Apoclee Fort Towers. You know, this card mattered a lot more when every card had a level or a rank. Pank being replaced by Fenrir is very funny. Pank was one of the best going second cards in the game for so long. Then they printed another Pank. Uh, I will push back on this a little bit. I feel like Fenrir didn't replace Pank. It just ended up being an incredibly powerful card that also got you advantage. And It just ended up being an incredibly powerful card in an incredibly powerful deck. Now you can play both, and many people do. Effect Veiler is a great hand trap, but Infinite Impermanence is just better in every way. It can be used on both turns as a trap card so it can't be called by, and can negate spells and traps if your opponent forgets about zone placement. I will say there is one notable difference, and that is... Wait, no, there's not. What the fuck? Wh no, this card is way better. There is one notable difference, and that is Veiler is a twink. There you go. DPE. It's replacing Dragoon. <laughs> Roll it. <laughs> real OCG heads know what's up. And if you're not a real OCG head... YouTube.com slash SEMO with eight O's. The history of OCG should be out by now. The former de facto best normal summon for ritual decks everywhere has largely been eclipsed by Diviner, who can do exactly the same stuff as Manju, but with far more utility, even outside ritual decks. It just searches any part of a ritual. It bins Herald and searches any part of a ritual. Also, it's a six. Also, it can bin other stuff. A lot of decks play both these cards. Specifically a Duel Links example, says William Antonelli. Gale into Kiteroid. God, these were all frustrating. It was so annoying having to purchase a new disgusting hand trap every couple of months. I think Sphere had the most staying power. While we're talking about Boral Sword, Boral Sword has mostly been crept by Access Code. Popping cards without the opponent being able to respond is just way more useful. I remember when Access Code was first revealed, people were like, I don't know, man. It seems like in any scenario where you can get to a link for, you're going to be able to win because you can make Boral Sword.
Oh. A wonderful answer. I can't think of a better one. The only one difference between these two cards, the word banish. Sakuretsu, a staple in old formats, completely invalidated by Dimensional Prison, which, of course, banishes. Um... I don't think this is true, Offy. Everyone's saying Boral Sword, but I'd also like to give a special shout out to Utopia Devil. Utopia Double, who also got power crept after access code release. Card was played for a bit as a beater OTK enabler until it just eventually fell out of favor. The difference between this card and access code is one of them requires you to play a bad card in the main deck. Ugh. I don't know, it might be a head-ass take, but it feels like DD Crow targeting one in the graveyard and banishing it has, at this point, been power crept by Shifter. No contest. Even when DD Crow began to see play again, that was just because called by got limited. There are scenarios in which I'd prefer a DD Crow to a Dimension Shifter, but most of the time, the reason I'm playing DD Crow is because there is a percent chance I won't draw the Dimension Shifter. That said, it is cool that both of these cards are still playable at the same time <clears throat> they're used for different cases yeah that's true for instance some decks can't play dimension shifter <laughs> When Incantations came out, it was essentially the best method to summon rituals for any deck. Yep, it led to that really cool deck from history, the uh, Ritual Toolbox strategy. However, when the Drytrons came out, th there was pretty much no reason to play them. It's so frustrating that the Drytrons are known for this very adept, powerful, monster-spamming deck that ends on a quadrillion negates, when they are also an unbelievably good generic Ritual Toolbox series of cards. Little Knight is a direct upgrade from DPE. No, no, she's not. No, she has she has fewer attack points. Um, uh, I do appreciate that they keep trying to make this effect more powerful. Uh, it says, Fiendish. Wow, I get to permanently negate the monster. Breakthrough skill. Wow, I get to activate this even if I mill it. Lost world. Wow, I get to use this twice. Infinite impermanence. Okay, if it's in the opener, it's still good. Fun fact about Cosmic and MST. In the beginning of Duel Links, we had Cosmic Cyclone. It was the best back row removal for a long time. The funny thing is when the skills were balanced around the cost of 1,000 life points and MST was released, Cyclone was power crept by MST. Yeah, it turns out losing 1,000 life points is actually a pretty meaningful cost in a format where you have 4,000 life points. Uh, so when MST was first released, everyone was super excited that it was going to replace Cosmic entirely. Um...
Thunder King was limited at one point. Mistake was nice in the Duelist Alliance search-heavy format, but it was two-sided. And then they just printed Colossus. Void Ogre, bit of a niche pick for a while, but I am one of the best generic eights around. And then they released this card. Void Ogre was so fun and so playable in so many decks until they were just like, now nah, we're giving you an Omni. I can literally think of like seven decks I tried to throw Void Ogre into. There was a time when people were summoning this card off of Zolkin. Can you believe that? Swolox, shouts out to early Link Monsters. Gotta be one of my favorite genders. Um, I remember when Proxy Dragon went crazy. Who remembers summoning the uh, Grinder Golem tokens to the Akashic Zones? And the crowd goes wild. Better luck next time. Tour guide package being splashed in most decks right up until Terror Top showed itself and did the same thing without special summon or brr, without using the normal summon. Man, it's crazy we're now getting Terror Top back. Uh, this card was such a house the entire time it was legal. What was the first generic Link 2 monster that pointed down? Um, Mrs. Radiant. Oh, generic? Lanfo. Linker Bell. Linker Bell, I think, was the OCG. We got a way later. I remember being upset about Linker Bell. Because it released at a time that people didn't always have 15 cards in the extra deck. So a lot of the time, if you were playing a deck that could make a bunch of plays without links, it felt like you just were at a disadvantage because you didn't shell out money for more bullshit you could stuff in the extra. I try not to remember recover at all, Rebecca. Recover. <clears throat> this is mostly true. Um, to get one guy into the graveyard, a lot of decks were playing Clara and Reshka, the Valentro duo. Um, and then that was largely replaced by Almirage afterwards. Uh, but notably, Clara and Reshka did a lot of stuff that Almirage don't. And the most important one of those things is, it's a spellcaster. So, if you were playing against a deck that set up Secret Village, you could just use this. I do remember this card caused a huge hubbub when it was first released because it allows you to use a set monster. 
Now, what it means there isn't you can use a face down monster to link summon this, but you can use a monster that was previously set and has since been flipped up to perform the link summon. <laughs> so different decks do play these cards to different levels of success but by and large yes pot of prosperity is just a direct improvement over pot of extravagance Different cards, I mean, yeah, they're different cards, but the decks that still play Extrav are like, these are copies four and five of Prosby. Completely not related together. Name me a deck that plays Extrav but does not play Prosby. They are for very different decks. If you are playing both in the same deck, they're not for different decks. Lab? Oh, well, Lab's different. Lab's different. <laughs> but they also play Prosby, don't they? Lab plays both. Oh, but I thought they were for different decks. It sounds like they're for the same deck, but some decks prefer one to the other. Most play only Extrav. Every deck plays Prosby, though. Flu plays both. That's what I'm thinking of. Flu plays fucking six. Prosby is only for bad players. <laughs> oh my god. I literally I am not going to talk to Quantal. Just carried by Emre. Oh, man. I remember when they unbanned Exiton Knight. Everyone was like, oh my god. We're going to have to play around Exiton Knight every single game from here on out. And then like one set later, they were like, oh, you don't know the half of it, buckaroo. <laughs> Sometimes in scenarios where it's available, I like to go Exiton Knight overlay for Zeus. You know, it just feels right. Exiton came back two years before Zeus released. That's like one set. When did Zeus come out? It's like Leov. It came out in Phantom Rage. Oh, no, this isn't fair. It Zeus came out in COVID. You know, our brains were cooked. Oh. I feel so bad for Psychic Eraser Laser. <laughs> oh, man. Does anyone remember this card? It was like a TCG exclusive, right? We were like, oh, my God, it's like Nibiru. They're giving us a card that resolves a really specific board state oh fuck this card is so tight and then they just came out with Harold. they're like fuck it and Harold is not even good okay come on like Harold is good you're not gonna sell me on Harold is not good It sees more play than 99% of cards. Wait. <laughs> Chad is saying that Harold came out years earlier.
2018. What the fuck? Why did anyone ever think this card was going to see play? People, people sucked this card from the back silly style. People forgot about Harold, I guess. Oh my God. <laughs> we needed a blazing vortex win. No, yeah, Rebecca's right. I mean, it was during COVID, but this has like tops in COVID tournaments. Oh man, I do not miss this. I wouldn't say these four go together though. If I were thinking of the four, it would be like Judgment, Warning, Mirror Force, Torrential, or Torrential, Dim Prison, Bottomless, Hero Blast. <laughs> A must-have during cash format that not only served as generic removal with any additional cost, but also an ebly out. Crazy how many cards SP is just better than. Man, there's like a dozen of these. Azalea, Donner. I, SP is just, it's everything, man. It is everything. Each new pot. We're actually, aren't we due for a new pot? What's the new pot going to be? How much more broken can they make these things? Draw two cards. Then banish four cards face up from your deck. Your choice. Like how much better can it get than Prosby? I think there's even there's an argument that this card is better than Pot of Greed. I mean, I don't believe it, but there's an argument for it. Chimera Tech was once an automatic inclusion in the extra deck because otherwise you could potentially make it if your opponent ended on a Sidra and a machine. <laughs> Did see some play coming off the list, but Lightning Storm could hit back row. I remember, I think, Honko Chow. Like, week one of the Raigeki on limit was playing Flu with three Raigeki in the board. And I just looked at it and I was like, there's just no way, right? <laughs> It's 2004. You're a precious little mimic, ready to give players a free draw. You're even a dark for chaos, and your older brother might stop by if you survive. One set later, you hear a whistle in the distance. It gets louder, closer. You can't escape. The express is due. No, um, this this card is um this card is better than uh De Dekowichi. Uh, that is because it can rank up into dark mimic level three. Uh. <laughs> Um, no, that's not true, as Dekowichi can draw an additional card for each Bokoichi, the freightening car you control.
I remember when this was the only generic Link 2 that pointed down. It was revolutionary. There was a period of time, you have to understand, in Yu-Gi-Oh!'s history, when we would, like, come if we saw a Link monster with the right arrows. Like, this was, like, the most exciting shit for us. Who remembers getting, like, super excited for the release of, like, Binary Sorceress? Who remembers being like, they can't release Lanfo. That shit is crazy. TLK card mentioned. Oh, no. Coder. Doo-doo. That's why he's only got three featured clips. It's okay, I fell off. When are you going to admit your marriage is a sham coder? Crystowing was jammed to offer monster negation. It had a lot of steps to its downfall, completely replaced by Savage. But the biggest one was the efficiency of Makaba. Nope, disagree. The thing that pushed Crystal Wing out of rev relevance was the release of this card, Borlo Dragon. Borlo Dragon is a card that specifically reads, Beat Crystal Wing. Look at this thing. So, Crystal Wing cannot gain attack points when it attacks Borlode because it doesn't have a level. Uh, Borlode gets over Crystal Wing because during the damage step, you can activate its effect to make a monster on the field lose 500 attack and defense. You would think, oh, Crystal Wing's in a gate. Well, guess what? That effect can't be responded to. I remember buying into DDD and being like, wow, this is crazy. I can make Crystal Wing with any hand. And then they revealed Borload, and I was like, fuck, it's over immediately. Okay, here's where we were. Uh, mm. Chimeratech Fortress Dragon. No, Chimeratech Mega Fleet Dragon. A period of time when everyone was playing this card. God, I do not miss Master Rule 4. Not at all. Using these two to link climb and master rule four off of scapegoat is good memories. Yes. Scapegoat in end phase, link climb on your turn. Best way to make bore load. It was like link spider, uh, proxy dragon, link spider for bore load. Remember tune Sidra, tune table and striker. Yes. <sighs> decode talker i mean decode talker was power crept by like 15 different cards but it was so funny when we had just started master rule 4 and people were like describing this as a negate they would show a board that had like two points of interaction and a decode talker and they were like oh yeah this is three negates it's like, is it? It's like, oh, actually, it's four negates because you could activate Decode Talker twice. I do appreciate that there aren't more just visibly better cards than existing ones. But I think what we've learned as a result of this Twitter thread is that SP is like nine of these rolled into one. See you next week. All right. 
Thank you all for stopping by. This was a lot of fun. This is going to end the Yu-Gi-Oh! portion of the stream. I appreciate y'all sticking around. We are going to play just a teensy weensy bit of The Binding of Isaac Rebirth. If you're unfamiliar with this game, it is a rogue-like. That means it is like rogue, and it's how we like to cool down on Monday, Wednesday, play a little bit of the old Isaac. I think next week we're going to uh, roll back up with Ace Attorney, but for now, let's do this. Ah! Uh, and his mother what, Rebecca? lived alone in a small house on a hill. So on our last uh, our last trapes through Isaac, we used Lilith to try and get our fucking delirium uh, mark, and we weren't able to do it because we're not very good at the Binding of Isaac, and <laughs> it just didn't work out. Guess my tainted loss win streak. I'm going to say 15. Oh, here's a better guess, actually. Is it zero? Is it negative 25? Big chubby. Nah. Negative 13. Close. I was close. That's pretty good. That's not a bad item. This is a good start. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty good start. <laughs> I'm a little impressed. Check him, PC. Anyway, here's Mega Mush. God, I wish. All right, we're going to go for Hush. Because we have to get to Delirium. And Hush is the easiest way to do that. Golden Bombs Floor 1 is always crazy. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Uh, I don't know about this. God. Crappy floor so far. That was wrong. Come here. Come here, asshole. Oh, my God. Come here. There we go. Hey, Ramen Fist. Have you unlocked Godhead yet? Absolutely not. How kind of question is that? Have you unlocked Godhead yet? No. This is the same room from the run, run we reset. Have you unlocked head yet? Yes. It seemed kind of mid to me. I haven't. Sorry to hear that, Rebecca. Better be like health up. Okay. I heard you call Fryrin terrible. N no, I didn't do that. <laughs> did say that, but it was really funny. Oh, I did? Wait, in what context? Did I actually? Sort of. Alright, well, because it's funny, I stand by it. You said, I'm not gonna watch all these terrible anime. Okay, that's fair. I did say that. Where the fuck is the super secret? Alright, I don't have all day. I already did it up here. Oh my god. I literally don't know where the super secret is. Adjacent to shop? I'm not going all the way back there. Or maybe I am.
Gaius, thank you for the sub. It has. Oh, cool. Dog food. Oh, cool. The first damage I took this floor. Let us go back to the shop. Oh, hello. Okay. Oh! Oh, we should have D6 to that. Actually, maybe not. Like, that's like a pretty good item. Okay, I don't want Fanny Pack. I don't want Mr. Me. Uh, ooh, I do want Potato Peeler, kind of. I don't have the health for it. I don't want Compost. But, I will pick it up for 10 so I can reroll it. Uh, we'll take blue map. Blue map's pretty cool. Coin purse. Oh boy. I want both these, by the way. We don't have the ability to do them, though. Ah, man. <laughs> I really don't want that. Is there, is there a way I could get a charge? I don't think there is. Uh, whatever. Oh, fuck. We're still in a pretty great position. This was a fun first floor. Reminder, we have to remain on hush pace. Just, you know, let me keep that in mind. God, I hate how slow this fucker is. Keep walking. Curse of the Blind. That's what I like to hear. Oh, we don't have our golden bomb anymore. Cursed Skull. I really don't want that, actually. <laughs> oh, whoa. That was R, not Q. Low, drop it. I can't drop it. Is it like cursed in a way that I can't drop it? <clears throat> Something good, please. Holy shit. This run's going okay. Control, not Q. Uh, it's actually kind of weird on Jello. Uh, damn. I wish I had known that. Uh, I would have re-rolled it. This run would have already had two Matman screams. Oh! There you go. There's your Matman scream. Yeah, I'm stupid as fuck. Ooh, that's some good money there. Wow, 
Wow, Polly, uh, Polly goes crazy. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh! I'm so mad. I, I'm so mad about that. Holy shit. That was such comedy. I'll take Monster Manual. Sure. Shouldn't have done that. Yeah, you think? That's my streamer. That's my fucking streamer. <laughs> that was two, two, four items that we just lost because I'm bad at Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> Blank card. Isaac players, man, were the best at throwing unlosable games. We? What the fuck do you mean we? There's no we. There's no our. There's just me and my throws. Joseph, this is your professor from law school. Law McTeacherson. You should play Pal World. I'm good. Um, I am relying on you for legal advice, so get ready to defend me in court. But I will say, um, real quick on, on the topic of that, not of Pal World. Ooh, that's nice. Uh, of law school. Um, I saw someone reply to that clip of me where I say, no, I'm going to law school not because I really, really like the law, but because I do think I'll need something to do should uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! fail to pan out long term or like the algo changes or something. And everyone's like, oh man, then you shouldn't be going to law school because that's only for people who like really want to do it. And largely, I think it's true that you shouldn't go to law school if, like, it's something you're only sort of interested in. But, like, I am really interested in it. I just don't want to do it over content creation. I want to clear that up real quick. I think a lot of people are like, oh, yeah, Joseph is, like, casually going to law school. I'm like, I'm ranked competitive going to law school. Fuck, this is annoying. I really want to go back there and pay out that thing, but I don't think I have the ability. You could be like Legal Eagle, but fruity. Legal Eagle is a little bit too uh, clean cut for what I want. You know what I'm talking about? God damn it. I needed just a little more money. Oh, well. I'm happy we got $14. <laughs> I needed one more dollars, but who cares? Not me. You know what? Actually, I think I can get. I'm just going to eat a hit. Always works, chat. Literally always works. Guess I should have done this first. Fuck me. I'm going to do this so I don't have to fuck with that room anymore. Blank card is broken as fuck, but uh, we're going to keep going. Nope. Yep. Let's get a bomb. I'll take that. Ooh, and this too. Fuck you. The Hanged Man. Great shop. Really wonderful shop. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, chat, I'm going to I'm going to make my millions uh going to the city where they banned every drug or they legalized every drug. I'm going to be like that guy. What what can we Okay, so I live in Maryland. So we could do we could do like um like Baltimore. I spent an entire day in the city run by the Chugalugans. I spent an entire day in the city where they speak a strange, unrecognizable dialect of England or English. I spent an entire day in a city dominated by <laughs> drunk ass motherfuckers. I'll do that one exactly on the uh, on Super Bowl Sunday, baby. I hope they go to the Super Bowl. That shit would be so funny. Although I am still a Casey fan at heart. I, I believe in the one the one true god, Patrick Mahomes. He will bring us eternal happiness. Did we just get a soul heart from a poop? 
I spend a day in the most disgusting city, Hoboken. That's not a bad one. It should be like, I spent a day in the United States' most disgusting state, and I just go to New Jersey for a weekend. Visit Danny. Baltimore is honestly really pleasant. You know what's crazy? So many people have told me they're like, oh man, you're not going to like Baltimore. I love it. I think it's so nice. I love the equi- the, like, obviously, it's like any other city. Like, there's places that, like, you probably shouldn't, like, be after hours. But everyone is always talks about it like it's a crime-ridden hellhole, and I'm always like, eh, it seems okay. It's really nice. We like going to the little downtown. I like the aquarium. All this fun stuff to do. A bunch of places. My mother thinks I'm going to die in Seattle. Did you send her that Seattle is where they banned police? Did you say, Mom, I, I just don't know if I'm going to make it out. I really... Yep, Core of Babylon is so good. I can't not do horror. Uh, Ghost Baby? No, no. Conjoin Progress is good, but no. Uh, we haven't seen the item room yet. My dad probably watched it next to her on the iPad. Yeah, true. Fuck you, spider. Wait, what am I doing up here? Do you have dead god? No. Why didn't you grab the chest? What chest? What are you talking about? There was a chest in the devil room? What am I, stupid? Uh, don't answer that, actually. Uh, oh man, I love Lil Han. I love Beelzebub, though. I love Lil Han. I think Lil Han is like the best one star. We were too busy talking about Seattle. That's fine. I don't know. I. There's so many cities in America that people describe like they're like evil crime infested hellholes. And like my experience has been cities are cities, man. And like if you keep your wits about you, you'll be okay. Just do that though. Don't, don't be an a, a dumb asshole. I think a lot of people psych themselves out of going to visit places that are legitimately very enjoyable and they would have a lot of fun in, and I think that really sucks. Kill that guy, thank you. Average Americans wouldn't survive a day in Ladam, their minds are not ready, that's true. We're not right with the Lord. <laughs> There are at least two articles I want to write specifically about Yu-Gi-Oh. One about my feelings on bluffing sharking policies and why I dislike them. And another that explains uh, the two-player starter set discourse and why nobody is getting into the game. I'll let the believers who stick around Isaac weigh in. God damn it. I really like Spider Baby and I really like Box of Spiders, but I, I want the free bombs. You know, um, more options has been really important this run because we have not gotten one good item. favorite item for my favorite pill. Jello, help me out here. Jello, you can do it, Jello. Thank you. One more Jello. Fuck. Jello. Jello, help me out. Torn photo. I will take it. We'll take two health for that. Fuck. 
Not I'm excited. Not now. No. I'm not excited. I have ceased being excited. Luck down. down. Verp. Range down. down. Awesome. Really cool stuff. I want to find the uh, the shop. shop oh wow four five for sure but but humbling so good too there's only one way to do it sorry about this calendar god damn it dude Humbling, then bomb dono. Fuck. Yeah, you're right. Well, we are actually going to die. Outside of that, everything's pretty good. The devil. That's a nice one. Binky. That's a nice one. The Hanged Man. That's... We already have the Hanged Man. Oh, yeah. I will... I will just take health at this point. Ah! Oh, my God. Took an entire heart in this room for no reason. My streamer would never throw. This run isn't live yet. Oh, I really want that money. And I got it. Stop hitting me. Synth oil is huge. Uh, oh my god, goat head crazy. Oh, these are all pretty nuts. It's gotta be goat head, right? We gotta turn on whore, guys. I, I don't wanna go down either, but we gotta turn on whore. Oh my god. <laughs> I died of fucking nothing. No, come on. I can't do three, two runs that end this way. Come on. Thank you. Holy shit. That's four hearts to spikes. I don't remember asking you anything. Why are we full clearing? I'm looking for the shop. I have a lot of money. <sighs> Fucking health up. up. That's nice. Where is the shop? 
rev would go nuts. Yes, it would. Yes, it would. What the fuck did we lose a heart to? Awesome. This goes nuts, too. Actually, hold up. I'm gonna... That's a pro gamer move. That's intentional damage. That was productive damage right there. Yes. That's a good item. Okay, now we have to not get hurt. Fuck him up. <sighs> so easy. Let's get the fuck out of here. How are we doing on time? Uh, not great, actually. Not fantastic. Why don't we go this way? We should have kept Hangman for here. Oh! Wow, I almost got, got there. Toast. It's so fucking over. <laughs> I didn't even I didn't even see that. So annoying. All right, this is the run. This is the run. plug has so much potential two of clubs that also has potential that was stupid all right we're gonna get there we're all going to make it. first one I'm being stupid this floor that every floor I do not but this time I mean it mm. I 
Lead pencil's great. Perthrow. We'll come back to that. Dia plus Perthro, yeah, that's not bad. How do we sequence this? Dia looking real nice. We still have to not die, you know, that's hardly a guarantee. Get the fuck out of here. That almost got me. Holy fuck. Devil deal. Hmm. These are two really bad ones. And we per throw here, right? sack floor. Okay. I just have to not get hit for the next, like, four floors. Which seems pretty easy to me. I just need one heart, baby. Just one heart. Thank you. Holy fuck. Oh, thank you. Oh, I didn't mean to take that. Oh. Does that count as taking a devil deal? It does not. Another sack room? God, I'm stupid. Alright, we'll, we'll the world here. I hate the fucking flooded caves. What a disastrous place to be! Alright, there we go. There's an awful room. Oh, come on! <laughs> what was that? Angry fly. Okay, whatever. It's BL's above progress. I count it. That's a win in my book. indeed. We'll do member card. Forty-one cent sensor? Ooh, that's pretty good. I don't have forty-one cents, but uh maybe. Maybe someday. If I work hard, I'll take the free health.
caught on something there for a second. Ag! I'm still caught on it. Oh, it's a rock. It's my favorite boss. What an interesting guy. Uh, I, there's no reason to full clear. Let's just keep going. Ugh. Is it really free health if you paid three cents for it? Yes. Free in my eyes. Free in the eyes of the Lord. Sack room beckons. I know. I've, I'm not going to do it. I won't do it. I promise I'm not going to do it. Oh, my God. They're trying. But they're trying. Out of curse. Of course, it's a curse of the unknown. So we had f three health coming in here. Oh, hey, sack room. Yeah, hey, indeed. Hey, yourself. Not on an unknown floor. We are trying out here. What the fuck was that? Two red, two soul. You're right. I knew it was going to be greed. I was like, this feels like the greed shop. At least member card still works. Oh! Well, 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 well. Take a look at the menagerie. Oh, nothing. Nothing interesting? Okay. Where the hell is the boss? It's gotta be this way, right? Oh my god, this room. I'm from Toronto, where the vampires live. Oh, that really makes me want to do the sack room. I'm going to be completely honest with you. Oh, this <laughs> this room's terrible. Don't touch me. If we get out of here without taking damage, I'm, a, I'm the greatest player of all time. Oh my god, I'm so good. Another piece of health. Okay, there's someone keeping track of my health, right? Where are we? So good at Yu-Gi-Oh! Holy shit. The mulligan. Oh, I really like the mulligan. And it's BL's above progress. Yeah. 2.5 souls, 2 red. Oh. I can see forever is crazy. Ugh. Is there a pin in here or something? Angry flies going off, by the way. Yeah, let's see what you got. Oh boy. Not with jello, right? It's actually pretty bad with jello, right? Still crazy with Jello. That's all my health, though. Yeah, there's no way I can't. Yeah. All right. Well, sorry, sack room. Okay, Curse of the Lost. We love Curse of the Lost. This is Necro 1. Oh my god, he throws it. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. Yeah, we're crazy strong. Oh my god, it like homes too. Okay, the problem is we have no health. I mean, outside of that, we're doing great. Oh! Hmm. 
Yeah, how'd you like that play? The Speedy Gonzales. Hey, okay. What? Where? How? Oh my god, I'm so mad. <gasps> Planetarium? Is that a 1%? It's a 16, I have. What's it called? Go. Uh, what do we go? Nothing. Saturnus. That's a great one. Okay, we have to figure out a way to not die. We're doing great. I mean, we are very strong. But we have got to figure out a way to not die. I think all my health so far has been to spikes. Tinted in this room? I don't see one. Yeah, I don't see one. Sorry, buddy. Roleplay is the lost. We're too slow to do that. Why is Jello just out? That's just what he does. Holler if you see a tinted. You know what has done nothing for me at all? Gimpy. Piece of shit item. see that was interesting this is a strange floor soul of Isaac well, I really want that so oh, I gotta get out of this room Oh, come on. Hate win is so crazy. Oh, man. I mean, we are so nuts. We're so nuts. <laughs> Please don't let me lose here. That's not good enough. Soul of Isaac. Oh, come on. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Please. <laughs> Please. I'm begging you, Soul Heart in the shop. Oh, come on. A soul Heart in this shop? Okay. <sighs> what is this? Perthro? Uh, Perthro is great. We shouldn't have taken common cold. Fuck me, I guess. Uh, we could Perthro here. There's two uh, There's two guys here. Sackhead. Sackhead's great. Fucking, what if, what if that's balls in, in the little baggie? I'm getting a little desperate. I can see forever. That's pretty good. Okay. D okay. Oh, fuck off. You're taunting me. I'll take the one, though. Sackhead paying out already. Gulp. Okay. <sighs> I just know there's a heart in that. Oh, that's... I can see forever. That's something. Oh, my fucking God, dude. I'm not fast enough for this. Oh my god. Okay, come on. The, the whip. We'll take the whip. Guppy or something? Maw. Uh, well. We can take the pact. You know, um, that's something. We're like, we are, again, we are really strong. We just, there's just, um, there's just one enormous problem. Curse of the Blind. That's what we like to see. Oh, a lot of potential in this room. A lot of potential in this room. I'm smelling the potential. See? Could be good. 
there's money. You know, I, I do like money. Okay, come on. <laughs> this run is going really well, but for the health issue. Use the pill. You're right. Oh, God, I shouldn't have listened to you at all. Last member shop? Yeah. This last member shop is going to go crazy. We got... We got... Bombs on bombs here. Just, just need a little bit of help. Just a eensy-weensy bit of help. That was crazy that we didn't get hurt. Okay. Oh, man. Win is so good here, and we can't even use it. Butterbean. Awesome. That's what I wanted was Butterbean. That is so annoying. I don't know. Do we take one of the mystery items? What could it conceivably be? This could be balls. That, that could be something. Member shop pill could also be balls. Get the 11 cent item. You got it. We don't have it. We don't have enough money for that. Okay, two pills that are two shots at balls. I think is better than the, the items. This is pretty fly. That's a, that's a good one. I like that. And shot Shots speed up. Nope. That's fine. We shouldn't have taken little baggy. We cut ourselves off the Hierophant. What a stupid asshole move. That's a play for the real dumbasses. Bomb Dono for Sack? No shot. I don't believe in this run enough to bomb Dono. Adorption Papers? Okay. Oh god. This room. Actually, isn't so bad. Could be a lot worse. Get him, Jello. Shot speed up. Perfect. What hit me? What hit me? Truly. Oh, you're the last guy. Hubris. Yep. Okay, this... This has potential. I can smell the potential. Balls. Verp. I'll take shot speed. Come on. Shot speed Missing page two. The worst item in the pool? That's okay. It's a heart. It's a heart. We'll take it. And... Squeezy! Oh, Lord above, have I never been happier to see Squeezy. Oh, Squeezy, my love. Oh, my God. Squeezy. Oh, my God. Thank you, Squeezy. Ugh. We would have just, we would have just denied it. I should be using Butterbean. I'm just not used to it. We can survive four spikes, so get ready. Hey, that's mom in there, right? We don't need anything else on this floor. No, we don't. Let's go. Get him. Get him, Jello. What hit me? It was mom. How do I still not know how to fight mom? Um. Oh, we didn't buy the TP card. Uh, I guess we're getting... Polaroid. Okay, we should have gotten fool. Oh, <laughs> Right. Curse of the Lost. We love to see Curse of the Lost. It's our favorite. <laughs> Let's just use Vibes. This is Vibes based movement. There's one more. Yeah. Curse every floor. They don't want us to win. They don't want us to win. They want us to win a little. That's why we got Squeezy. 
Ooh, this, this room is demonic. This room was conceived by 15 Satans working on one computer. Wake up, asshole. Got a jello with a knife for you. Pretty fly. That's our second pretty fly. We're swimming in pretty flies. Oh, yeah. That's going to pay out. I can feel it. Nope. That's going to pay out. I can feel it. Nope. This is going to pay out. I can feel it. Wow, it really did. That was like the most profitable bomb beggar I've ever had in my life. What is that? That's a uh, shot speed up. I don't need that. Where the fuck? Get me, get me out. That was a butter bean moment. Did you see that shit? We call that the butter bean moment. <laughs> what the fuck? What are we doing here? Oh my god. Did we just enter the wrong half of this? Tiberian, there's just no shot. I'm going to be able to read that. Where the fuck am I? I'm going to pay a key for this. Yeah. I just felt like it deserved one. <laughs> wow, I can't believe we got out of that one. <laughs> that was... That was something. Butterbean. Oh, hello. Where the fuck is everything? Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. We gotta be on the right path now. I'm getting used to Butterbean, man. I'm telling you right now, this Butterbean is popping off. Look at that. Holy shit. Thank you, Butterbean. That's Pretty Fly. We're on three Pretty Flies. Saturnus, Pretty Fly, we're untouchable. Oh! Wow, that was insane. That was door open carry. Conquest. Alright, well, fuck off, Pretty Fly. Couldn't get him in one. Come on back. Ooh, we will take the white pony. Uh, yeah, we'll check this out, too. Oh, Krampus! Exactly what I wanted to see. And the greatest item in the world! We'll, we'll take White Pony. White Pony's so good. See ya, Butterbean. Okay. You can't be talking like that, White Pony. Here we go. Run turns around, right here. Oh, fuck. Oh, yeah, we're in, um... I forgot we're in the, um... All right, so here's the plan. As we get one singular white heart, which we should, or red heart, which we should frequently, we can use the Polaroid to abuse the Devil Beggar. And if he pays out, which, you know, let's be honest, I don't think is really gonna happen. Um, we can then use it on the machine and maybe get more hearts and then not die to much. Or maybe we'll find no hearts on the entire floor. Six minutes? We got time. Pants. Okay, uh, better ho boss health bars might be a cheating mod. Uh, yeah, I don't give a fuck about it. I'm sorry. Fourth pretty fly. Speed up. Speed we'll take speed up. up. Oh, that was crazy. They just dropped three half hearts. That might be enough to cheese the entire room. Uh, luck down. down. That took spirit hearts? Why did that take a soul heart? Soul, huh? Why? 
Wait, why, why was it doing that? You need a full heart to do it. Oh my god. You can't do it with halves. I'm so mad, dude. Time? We got time. Health up. Health up. Pay out, asshole. Thank you. Okay, I'm not fucking around with that anymore. I didn't know that's how wound worked, by the way. You learn something new every day. Okay, let's not miss Hush. We're still in pretty good shape. Oh, God, that was rough. Good peeps. That's what I want to see. Just peeps in a room, hanging out. You know who's actually going crazy here is an uh, angry fly. Puberty, sure. It's an annoying room. Another annoying room. This room is very annoying. Jello with a knife. Thanks. Oh, we could just go delirium now. Say fuck hush and go delirium now. Honestly, like that might be the play. What am I getting out of delirium or going hush? One additional shop. Now I get two more items. No, that's big. We got to go hush. We don't have an option. If we can't kill hush, we can't kill delirium. You know. Yeah, no, this is a big room. Yeah. Yeah. This was right. For sure, this was correct. Paralysis, too. What would we do without the paralysis pill? Remote depression. I don't really like either of those. Oh! Well, it's not pretty, but it does win the run. Able is conjoined progress. At five cents, we probably don't pick that up. Brim's crazy. We could probably get conjoined here, right? Brim. Bum isn't conjoined. Um, we still probably get bum. Oh, that's a health up pill, too. down. That's what we wanted. Uh, adoption paper is going crazy right now. Uh, we'll take depression. What do you mean question, question, question? We're taking Soul of Isaac with us. We can get better than that. I like depression. I think depression is good. Get him, Jello. Get him, Brim Baby. Fuck him up, Jello. Okay, here we go. Time for the hard boss fight. So, uh, anyone uh, read any good books lately? Oh, Jello's kind of going nuts. Wait, Jello's already out. Fuck him up, Jello. <sighs> you know, I don't love doing Nod Leaf bullshit, but, uh, you know, here we are. Peak. That's why they call it the Binding of Peak Sick. Okay, Siberian, I can now speak with you. The problem with this game is that it's a little too exciting. I agree. You want to step in my depression cloud, please? This is basically what we... Yeah, this is the reverse of you. You want to pull up Master Duel in the corner? Wait, did we get a heart somewhere? Who got us a heart? How? 
Angelo's fighting off everybody. Ooh, Saturnus going crazy, too. Angry Fly DPS King. Angry Fly is going nuts, right? This is an insane amount of damage. Oh, so Jello's going to get a couple hearts and then, uh, Demon Baby sucks them up, I see. Scroll up to my last message. You know how much I love typing. It can't be for nothing. Beyond the two I mentioned, there's also a... Th oh, I can't do it. Can't do it while we're playing. There's also a th specifically one I have about Yu-Gi-Oh! It's a third one I have in mind to be contentious, but I have instant speed skepticism, and then another more general analysis where the true rules of the game are located and how they can be understood as an oral tradition. That's nice. I'd like to start writing, too. Oh, man, depression's going off right now. I'd like to start writing these types of articles. The problem is I, I'm afraid that anything I write is going to pretty much be rudimentary to every like the problem is knowing pro player insights i'll just be saying things they could be saying before. but still it's probably worth doing just because no one else is going to do it perfection yeah huh <laughs> okay not curse of the lost please no curses finally I'm doing it here too, fuck it. Get an angry fly. Get him angry, angry Joe. Okay, I lied, I'm gonna kill him. Come here. I love this. I love that enemy. It's just like, it's so engaging. It's just so interesting. Can we drop game volume like 30%? Why is it so loud all of a sudden? Maybe it's just the song. Yeah. I don't know. The The article that I think is really necessary is um playing with a purpose. I think for some reason there's not this article yet. And it it's so easy to write. It functionally writes itself. But it's just about playing in a very deliberate way. And like not just playing cards to play cards. And it's it's something that's almost intuitive, especially if you play at anything resembling a high level. Thank you for all the paralysis pills, you fucking asshole. But I think new players really struggle with it. Oh, fuck. Well, it was fun while it lasted, perfection. I do appreciate that you wrote that that one article, uh, Siberian, but um, I kind of need some of these hearts, asshole. Ah, come on, dude. I'm trying not to throw. I'm not trying that hard. Okay, focus time. Ooh. This can't be delirium. What hit me? What the fuck hit me? Rev. Oh, thank you, Rev. Sorry, white pony. Okay, Rev is our savior here. That also can't be delirium. Fred. Folks, we love Fred. Ooh, we like bottle of pills. Bottle of pills is fun. Something good? That's a yes, mother. I can see forever. That's nice. You can't be saying that, white pony. Yeah, well. The problem is white pony is so good for boss fights. This also can't be Delirium. 
Oh. God, I hate the way Saturnus deals with projectiles. Sometimes it's just like, please just be normal. No, we got hit there, didn't we? Worm friend is sick. Oh, thank you, devil baby. You can't be talking like that, devil baby. Uh, how's the way I do this that doesn't kill him? Like this. All right. Let's see if we can't get a health item out of this bad boy. Okay. We're on our way to an unlosable run. We just have to stick the landing. Okay. Gulp! Oh, that would have been so good if we still had perfection, but we don't. Um, no, Siberian, the thing that kind of irritates me is I feel like so many people got invested in the videos versus non-videos uh, for, like, sources of valuable... That could be Delirium. You, uh, actually, I think it couldn't, right? It's too far to the side. Yeah. Um, videos versus non-videos in terms of disseminating Yu-Gi-Oh! information, but they kind of lost sight of the fact that... Oh. No, I think we can't. Um, it's... The, the most important part of that was that there just wasn't any good Yu-Gi-Oh! information. Like, that was the number one problem. And so, they just got caught up in this, like, sub-argument. Fucking kill me. Thank you, Gimpy, though. And, uh, just didn't put any out at all. So I'm glad that Pack put some out, but I gotta say, that video really does exemplify the problems I have with that as the medium by which we disseminate anything important. This is an incomprehensible rip. I'm just like, I'm taking eight damage. It doesn't matter. That was a little bit of schmoopment there, I will, I will admit. Um, and that's that, you know, it's just this kind of rambly anecdote rather than like a really practiced, rehearsed, tight, but also like written long piece of information. You lose gulp perfection. That's annoying. I don't know. It feels like a lot of the Yugi playing public has just generally, oh my god, we're going to win, uh, lost sight of how to get better at the card game. And I think a lot of um, the pros speaking about this particular, like, discourse, in quotes, were like, you get better by playing Yu-Gi-Oh, period. Anything else is lazy. And I think that that betrays, you know... It, it is certainly less lazy, speed uphill, and fantastic. Um, it is certainly less lazy than doing nothing. But it sort of betrays an intellectual laziness, where you're just like, yeah, dunking on scrubs on Dueling Book in various ways is a way you can get better. But your mind does need kind of a diversity of perspectives that you're not going to get from just jamming your own games your own way. Um, it's crazy. I don't know. Not to jerk off Hoban too much, but, like, it's wild that he... Uh, in fact, the opposite, to not jerk off Hoban. It's wild that he still remains kind of the gold standard for someone who knows how to practice. Like, surely we should be able to figure out something better by now. I 100% agree, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This could be Delirium, so we will come back later. In fact, I think it's guaranteed to be Delirium. So we're going to show back up when we have full health. For those of you, I guess I shouldn't have to explain this, but for those of you who are unclear as to why I'm doing what I'm doing, um, in order for Delirium to be the guy in the boss room, it's got to be exactly able to spawn a 2x2. Two two. And so if it's like kajiggered in such a way that it can't, the boss can't be Delirium in there. And uh, so we are trying to do him last when we're at our most powerful. I can't believe we almost didn't go to Hush. Though it doesn't matter because we're just going to sit in there with Nodleaf. Yeah, you know what? Fuck it. Why are we even doing anything? I forgot we had Nodleaf. For fun. Oh yeah, you're right. I didn't think about it that way. And if we get it full, we can go uh, get White Pony back. How cool would that be? Ooh. Ooh, another pretty fly. 
Pretty Fly caps out at three. Oh, this is an awful room. Awful room for the devil. Awful room. Oh my god, I'm so good at Yu-Gi-Oh. Holy shit. Wait, what? There's more boss rooms? Uh, okay, so this bottom one can't be Delirium. What do we got? I'll soul of Isaac this. Eye drops. Sure. I like eye drops a lot. This could be Delirium. Nope. Alright, so the one down there is. Well, fuck. Now we have almost too much red health. Let's go get that white pony back. Go fight Delirium. Why soul that one? Because we're at the end of the run. I feel like there's nothing left we can soul. We should have sold when you guys told me to earlier. That was a mistake. You know what? It's probably worth it not to get White Pony just to have one more health. Yeah. It's so hard to tell Tintin's in that layout. Ooh, we found the secret rooms. That's cool. Oh, yeah. Go nuts, baby. Come here. Bop, bop, bop. Give me some good shit. All right, all black hearts, you got it. Speed up. All right, let's go. He will throw, trust. This is the least throwable one we've had yet. I'm gonna try my hardest, but I think it is actually physically impossible to throw from this position because we're just gonna stand and let Angry Fly do all the work. Get him, Angry Fly. Oh, Worm Friend is going off, too. All right, let's talk for a little bit. I think one mostly overlooked part of the conversation is that 90% of people who engage with the competitive scene aren't actually interested in playing that high at a competitive level. There's a, an appeal to having a community of players that are all at 710 and don't take the game too seriously. Uh, that's fine. I, I, I guess I understand that. You know, there is a certain charm to being kind of a... Oh god, this is going to take a hundred years because of the way Delirium works. I didn't even think about that. Because no one can reach him. Look at this. Oh man. Okay, we're, we're going to have to go for it. Just leave your PC on overnight. Just fight him. Those are the two options. Fight him or leave the PC on overnight. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. When Worm Friend gets him, then I'll fight him. Jello, fuck him up. Segmented bosses. I get that there's an allure to playing against an audience of people who are all okay at the game, but like that's your prerogative. You know, you you certainly have to understand that there are people who do want to improve their ability to play the game. And that there are very few resources in Yu-Gi-Oh! that permit you to do that. I will say I'm getting some coaching on Tengu Plant now. And it's shocking, like, just how... I mean, not to jerk off the person that is coaching me. But it's shocking that someone who is even slightly dedicated to actually improving their own abilities to teaching someone how to be good, how much they can accomplish in such a short period of time. And it makes it really agonizing to know that there are a bunch of people who just refuse to develop that skill or don't see like a benefit to doing so. I like this opportunity to uh, chat with a smaller stream that's reminiscent of the olden days. Yeah, I, I think a lot about how the channel has changed. Uh, like since Master Duel came out, this has gone from like a like the MBT Yu-Gi-Oh project has gone from like this, uh, wow, that was a really great place for him to spawn. From this just like semi watchable guy who averages like 300 a night to like a chat that just can't be used. Uh, that's just people trying to do comedy night bits all night. Like I remember being able to have conversations with chat and I think that's just literally impossible when you have anything over than like 200 active people. Did you hire me pre or post Master Duel? I forget. Uh, I think it was post, but I mean, uh, the big year for me actually was 2020, not 2021. Despite when did Master Duel come out? 2022. It was the year before Master Duel came out was the big year for me. Real ones remember the reading series. Now Freaks is just the reading series. 
Although Freaks is functionally the reading series. It's the same concept. Find a weird guy online saying something stupid. Except now it's no longer Yu-Gi-Oh! focused, which is ideal, mm -hmm. I think. Now we talk about how the world has gone woke. That was a good fight. Wait, the fight's not over? What? I didn't even know he did that attack until he died. Static before he dies, question mark. He's getting really fast. Man, this is crazy. Good fight. All right, I did what I had to to beat Delirium. We spent all night throwing. Oh shit, we get Jello for that? Hell yes, brother. We'll take Umbilical Cord on the way out. Jello is so sick. I'd be very happy to read some of your writing. I think an issue with prose potentially writing articles is a lot are just not very well spoken or good at articulating ideas. That's one thing I've learned is that a significant amount of prose have the skills that like I'm trying to sort of elucidate. Uh, that's our last Lilith uh, check mark, by the way. Uh, but don't know how to put pen to paper and be like, here's what I'm talking about and how you develop it. They're just like, I developed it by virtue of being friends with a lot of other people who had already developed it and imparted that information into me. And a lot of the reason that they're like that, I don't want to be like, is because, isn't it because they don't have an English degree, but like is because they've never written before and they, uh, they're young. I honestly, I wish I could personally pay some of these fuckers, but you know, Who blames them? Why would you write? Yeah, I mean, that's the thing, is that the reason a bunch of magic writing exists at all has nothing to do with economics, and it has nothing to do with a, a, an imperative that, um, you know, pros feed their families because it was the only way to do so. And it had everything to do with the fact that, you know, they loved the game, and they wanted people to be better at it. And it's hard to, to conceptualize that mindset in Yu-Gi-Oh! because it functionally doesn't exist. It's basically like... If you are good enough to be able to develop mental models in a way that others can't, that's an advantage that should be wielded in a uh, in a duel, not given out for free online. Um, but it also has a lot to do with like, yeah, how the parent organization worked with uh, early magic writers and um, how a bunch of uh, third parties overpaid for shit. <laughs> And you know what else it has to do a lot with? It has to do with this weird... This is going to sound strange, but it has a lot to do with the fact that in, like, 2006, being, like, a really smart, well-read, well-spoken dude was something a bunch of nerds wanted to do. Does that make sense? Like, if you were, like, a nerd at that time, it was imperative... That you talked like a fucking J.R.R. Tolkien character and wear, wore a cape everywhere, right? Now being nerds is cool, which is good, you know, that it means people are getting bullied less. Uh, but it also means that a lot of people aren't, like, reading a whole bunch of shit uh, just to look smart in front of their friends, right? <laughs> You know, uh, I can talk all day about how the Sun Tzu helps you play Magic the Gathering articles are cringe, but at least they were reading. <laughs> you know what I mean? At least there was a through line to these articles. All right. I'm going to bed. <laughs>